Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to the Distinct and Jovial Podcast. Meh. My name is Dom. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> You went in with that with such conviction. I needed to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting, right, is I, for the listeners at home, by the way, I actually practice, right? I practice all this. I try and teach myself to be better at comparing because I care about the quality of this podcast. And yet we still coin ourselves the world's this podcast. And that there is the absolute reason why Hooper is one of my favorite guests, if not my favorite. But random stuff like that. Oh, that was fantastic. Right, where was I? My name's Dom. I'm joined by my co-host, Jerry. How are you doing, Jerry? Me. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Based on the outtakes, that farm animal noise actually makes quite a lot of sense. <laughs> and, as already mentioned, we have the young Mr. Hooper as a gift, guest again. <laughs> Guest How gift. are you doing, Hooper? Guest gift. I am all of the above. I am. I am very well. <laughs> this has started very well, um, and may it continue. <laughs> I don't. I honestly don't know where to go from there. Right. Normally, I'm. Ne- I'm not normally that often flapped. Fl- See, <laughs> you are. You are definitely. I don't know. What well, I'm, 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 <laughs> well, fucking said, Dom. <laughs> Oh, great. And now I'm going to bleep something within the first five minutes of the podcast. Great. Oh, you got me on. There's going to be swearing. Yeah, that's true. i tell you where we can start. I'll, I'll, I'll kick this off for us. I would like to talk about your last podcast. The last podcast? Whoa, I, got co- I, got, I got called out a couple of times in that. Um, about about tiger bread like i'm a fucking expert on tiger bread or something um, <laughs> yes, out of the three of us you are the, sh- the the chef and the baker i'd like to point out what do you run a food based instagram <laughs> what have you done recently you've taken photos of a professional food establishment what do me and jerry do <laughs> have you seen some of the cooking creations that we've done jerry ordered a takeaway tonight have you ever seen tiger bread on my fucking instagram no this is exactly. true exactly but i did research it i i will be <laughs> honest <laughs> i was on a plane going to berlin for work and i wrote down notes whilst i was on this flight hold on a minute my camera's going crazy oh, you haven't even done issue. the disclaimer yet have you no, I haven't done the disclaimer. Oh. I've done nothing. Do the disclaimer like all the YouTube spilled. I'm sp- I'll do the disclaimer. It's the 19th of May. No, it's not. It's the 26th of May. I've I've not updated the notes since when I thought it was going to be. It's the 26th of May. It's a Friday. Uh, we're back into an evening podcast. Uh, so Jerry's internet is likely to crash. Uh, Hooper's camera is likely to collapse. Uh, so we're going to deal with all the technical difficulties. I'm going to try something new as well, which is likely going to mean about 20 hours of editing for myself. <laughs> as always, the views on this podcast are completely our own and do not represent the companies that we work for. Um, Unless they think that they're brilliant, and then absolutely, but I guarantee you they won't. <laughs> they're not even <laughs> going to listen to this. Well, you don't know about that. <laughs> um, this, by the way, is episode 24. Two years oh worth of podcasts. Oh my God. Can you believe it, Jerry? No, I'm actually gobsmacked. Two years we've been doing this, Dom. It feels like we did our first podcast yesterday. Genuinely. Well, not mm. yesterday, maybe a week ago. Okay, maybe 10 days. <laughs> 12. Well, we can't say that because, because quite often we get to the end of the week and go, what happened Monday? Yeah, I don't even remember and what I did this morning. To everybody <laughs> listening or watching, that's at least 48 hours of your life you have wasted mm. listening to these miserable bastards <laughs> moan. <laughs> yeah, by the way... We've changed the agenda for this. It's room 101. 
yeah. for three hours and it's just me <laughs> putting stuff in room 101 <laughs> and you're going to love it. <laughs> Do you know what, interestingly, and come on to it a little bit later in a little bit more depth, but the reason why Room 101 was so successful as a television program is apparently, specifically the British public, connect more over things that they can moan about than things that they love, <laughs> which I thought... I mean, there's a lot of sense to that, right? <laughs> I get it. And we as the British public have plenty to moan about. Weather. Specifically, bloody Royal Mail that can't do the one thing that they were invented for, which is deliver my mail. Oh, I swear to God, oh. if I hear Royal Mail on this pad- podcast one more fucking time, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan to Spotify. <laughs> take it off, take yeah. it off. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, anyway, Hooper, you were going to talk to us about Tiger Brain. Yeah, it's it's very it's very simple that he thought it looked stripy, so he said it's Tiger Bread. I thought it looked stripy, so it looks yeah, like Tiger that, Bread. That's literally it. Okay, at the risk of at the risk of having to bleep a bit more. Fucking hell, you've done all that research. <laughs> what did you come back with? It was the quickest research I have ever done in my entire life. It shows. <laughs> <laughs> I love I've, it. I've got no words. I've got no words. We spent three months in a laboratory. <laughs> we used supercomputers, <laughs> Chat GPT. Mm. And all it yeah. came back was <laughs> tiger bread. It's stripy. Yeah. But can you imagine, like, who, who who made it? It doesn't tell me who made it. But can you imagine what it was like? like all, all I got in my head is this guy going, oh, that looks stripy. Oh, tiger. Oh, tiger bread. Oh, go me. <laughs> no, but is it tiger bread or is it giraffe bread? If you if you want to well, yeah, take so, on board what that, that girl wrote. Yeah, I did, I did listen to that very long story on the last <laughs> podcast about Sainsbury's and <laughs> it's true it, all of it is true and we didn't put it in well I was about to say we didn't put it in interesting facts but based on the feedback from the previous interesting facts section it should just be called facts didn't do very well on the interesting side of things yeah it should just never have been said um <laughs> I, I love I love this Hoops is a reality <laughs> check, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is it. Bring us back down to down to crashing level. Answer. You're going to get comments of like, yeah, I agree with him. Um, boycott, distinct, and jovial. Um, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> You're breaking up. You're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> James has left. <laughs> <laughs> But um, but Jerry, I do I do have to agree with you on something though. Uh, from the last podcast is call centers. Oh, cool! <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cannot cannot stand them. All I do now is I press hash every single one hash 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 hash, and then it goes through to somebody. Brilliant! I've never tried oh, that. Is that the secret? Yeah, do it. It's it's good because yeah, once you pressed all those buttons and. Give them what you ate for dinner last night and what what you when your nan last farted, like and then you get through and it's like great, okay, thanks. And then they ask you the same fucking questions again. <coughs> so yeah, it's true. It is true. It's true. It is true. I've entered my the number on the keypad. Why do you need to ask yeah. for it again? We're validating your validation. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. And just to be clear, though. This is nothing against the people that work in call centers. I no, feel absolutely sorry not. for them. I really f- genuinely feel sorry for them. The people that came up with the whole concept of, okay, well, this is how a call center should work. They should literally be strapped to a bench and tickled to death. The <laughs> thing is, they're not, not the ones on the call. They are neither calling nor they are receiving the call. So they don't care. Exactly. Mm, but- but I used to work in a call center. Funnily enough, same place that you two. Oh, did you do? You did your, you did your time? I did, I did my time <laughs> in a building that had no windows at all. That was no, it that was enjoyable. Flipping egg. So 
the 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 the, the center for for is um you go in through a set of doors and then you go through in another set of doors and there's like a a, yeah. a the, the inner room <laughs> inner room like an inner circle type thing and that room has no windows yeah. so you can't tell unless you go out of the inner room and then it's all glass <laughs> yeah oh my god <clears throat> this sounds yeah, horrendous uh... genuinely yeah, I was, was wondering why was... you got the thousand yard stare. You've got the thousand yard stare of the next <laughs> call center vet. <laughs> yeah, it it does something to you. It does something to you. Um, but I, I think just working in customer service uh, does that as well. Anything it? customer facing, absolutely not. We can... <laughs> Which what do you, and you're what do you do as a job? You talk to customers. <laughs> 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 I. I teach people, so they want to be there to learn. So they're different than they're not coming to me for refunds. And you you sent me a pen, and I asked for a ruler or whatever they complain about now. So yeah, people want to be there. Maybe to be fair, no, I have had I have had some trainings where like people just don't want to be there at all their bosses have made them go and mm, they just yeah. sat there yeah. answering emails and all of this had one person when I was in Paris and he was just like, or they, he, she, they, maybe it wasn't a man. Maybe it was. Um, However they wish to identify themselves. <laughs> oh no, I was just trying not to identify, like characterize them. <laughs> um, they, uh, they, they started like complaining about <laughs> stuff and, and like trying to ask every single question they could think of just to derail it. And you're just there like, fuck off, pal. <laughs> <laughs> That's another bleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a lot of bleep. Don't, I'm, I'm more concentrating on just not mentioning the company that <laughs> we work for, Jerry, because I do not want that to become 2-1 after your one I'm, I'm sensing a 2-1 victory this season. <laughs> so if I said... <laughs> I'd have, that... That. I'd have to bleep that. I'd have to bleep that. No. <laughs> I am now going over to my notes for the listener, for the listeners, and I am just writing in my notes. The time <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he did that. Oh, dear. What was the timestamp? I am genuinely writing this down. <laughs> what was the timestamp? It was like 14, 11 on the recording. Cool. We'll add another one. But be- <laughs> <laughs> and now I've just pressed the wrong shortcut and completely <laughs> fudged everything. Oh my God. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh dear! One of these is I'm just going to scrap this rule. Like, like, I'm sure if you did enough research, you could figure out when, I mean, where I work. If people went on LinkedIn, <laughs> yeah, which is the same username as my Instagram, <laughs> which is attached to the, which is attached to the, the podcast's Instagram, which is attached to the Spotify. So it's not. It's probably. I think we should just tell everybody we work at Acme Limited. Okay, Acme <laughs> Limited. It's out there now. We don't have to believe it anymore. <laughs> I work for Acme Limited. I've now just it. got. I've now just got images of Roadrunner going me me <laughs> wily <Wiley> coyote <laughs> running into a a wall of some description or using Acme bombs. Acme. <laughs> just... Everything was Acme. I love it. TNT as well. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh dear. Right. Where are we? That was. Um... I don't know where to start. You are screwed. Now. <laughs> yeah, we are screwed. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days. So one of these days, listeners, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a poll. Who thinks that Jerry should lead on the comparing for the podcast? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> steady on, <laughs> steady on. Uh, I think that's a good poll. <laughs> oh, really? I think okay, that would be a to... hilarious episode. I'm I'm gonna make you do it on either the one where we have. The potential for four guests. <laughs> yeah, actually, to be fair, that's fair. Or I'm going to make you do it with one of our other potential guests that's coming up. That <laughs> I'll take the four in... guests that I've known since I was 15, 14. Yeah. 
13. Or we can take the one that I believe is your line manager, isn't he? <laughs> Stumped. T- technically, no. He's a buddy. Oh, is he, is he a buddy now? Okay. But yes. So hold on. Is this four <laughs> people, including you two, or four guests and you two? Four guests four and guests. us two. What's this three, going to be like no, a game guests. show? Three guests. Well, potentially, actually. I've got some... Uh, I've got some... Is it three guests? Three guests, yeah. I must forget the number. You always say there's four in a chat room, and I didn't know whether that included you or not. There are. There's Slarty Bartfast. No one's going to know who that is. So Slarty <laughs> Bartfast. Apart from the people listening. Um, and I don't know if Slarty Bartfast can join. <laughs> I still want to meet Port, uh, um, Codename Port Scratch at some point. Yeah. I spoke <laughs> yes. to him. He said he's, he's happy. He's happy for... For us to acknowledge the fact that from now on we're going to refer to him as pork scratching <laughs> <laughs> forever, even outside of this forever. podcast. <laughs> so if I see him in the high street or if I see him somewhere, I'll go pork, <laughs> pork, <laughs> pork. Oh, I don't think you heard me. Pork. Your wife must think you're insane, Jerry. Yeah, she does. She doesn't even pay attention <laughs> anymore. She literally. <laughs> She's like, her brain's kind of gone into, you know, you get those noise cancelling headphones. Hmm. Well, she, she's almost like all her senses are like Jerry cancelling everything on. Every <laughs> space. But not just noise, vision. So sound, vision. I was going to make a very, very crude joke, but as I haven't met your wife yet, I'm not sure quite at the stage to make that joke. Go for yet. it. And whatever it is, she's, she'll probably agree with you. <laughs> Well, you said Jerry cancelling, and I was like, "Ah, oh, is that why you only had one child then?" Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> got there in the end. Whoa. <laughs> I might cut that bit out. Cold-blooded. <laughs> I know that. That's more about your prowess, I, I think, cut. rather than anything else. <laughs> what the actual fringe? <laughs> God, this, this podcast is completely what derailed. The <laughs> It's just payback oh, no. for me being 45 minutes late because I, I have been later. <laughs> 45 minutes is actually it's not true. too bad for me. <laughs> no, this is, tr- this is true. Yeah, Jerry turned up to a, a meeting today that <laughs> for between me and Jerry, 45 minutes late. Unfortunately, that meeting was only scheduled for half an hour. <laughs> so... This guy. Oh, d- <laughs> this guy. Oh, dear. oh that kid. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> fucking kid! <laughs> it is what it lots is. Lots of swearing in this podcast. You're right. the reason cancel culture is about. <laughs> <laughs> what me? No, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> I was going to say. You trace it back. There's always a, there's always a ground zero for it. That's me. There we go. There we go. Right, we'll get onto our usual topics as we've got a bit of a bumper one, um, and I'm very much looking forward to a couple of the news. A new section, we've got a new section, and we're going to try something a little bit different, which I think is probably going to technically just break everything on this platform. So um, we'll do that. Uh, but we'll start with our usual, the food of the month, because although me and Jerry don't actually run anything food related and we can't cook, it just seems to be the, the main theme to our podcasts to begin with it's probably the most consistent bit you eat food don't you it's true qualified <laughs> very good at that <laughs> based qualified. on some... <laughs> i just had a fruit curry i don't believe you no <laughs> i didn't at all <laughs> you're gonna have to tell us what your what because you said you have a takeaway every friday what is your go-to f- takeaway is is or does it change i do mix it up a bit but oh, I mix it up a bit over quarters. So I'll eat the same thing every week for about three months and then I'll I'll switch. I'll just switch a room and then eat the same thing. Go through the ritual. You've got to go through the ritual of looking through every single item on the menu, then going, Oh yeah, I don't know. And then you phone up and, and just when it's on the tip of your tongue, just to order something different, at the last second the brain kicks in and goes, No, no, don't do it and then you go, Oh, I'll I'll have my usual. <laughs> and Yeah. So it's so I'm um, this quarter. I'm on spicy chili chicken, Bombay aloo, special fried rice, and some poppadoms, which is nice. 
I love how people have brought in fiscal terms into their personal <laughs> lives. Like next, you're going to be going next sprint. I might actually change it up. Like, <laughs> no. No, I don't change things up in sprints. I'm not that iterative. <laughs> I only do it in quarters. But like in your kitchen, you've got this fucking whiteboard with like <laughs> agile sprints on it, and it's like it's all like done out. Like to wife saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna have this on this sprint. Next sprint, we might add a pilau rice. Yeah, that might be good." <laughs> Uh, we might have some story points to put a naan in there as well, but I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll have to see what the capacity is with the other stuff. <laughs> Do you know Anybody what? listening who doesn't know what a sprint is, this is going to go like... And this last... But anyone that does is going to laugh <laughs> and like their socks off. Just to say, by the way, I'm, so I'm actually moving my green screen down. I've added, I've got a new addition. You might better see, I now have... A whiteboard? I have a whiteboard. <laughs> Which does have my weekly uh, weekly meals on it, but that's only because I'm trying to lose weight and in sprint, failing at it. Not in sprints, oh. it's weekly. For IP sprint, I might have something completely different, like a tandoori or a gel crazy <laughs> innovation and planning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what are you in? What are you innovating and planning? I don't know, but I might just even do a culinary hackathon. <laughs> Just, just change it up as well. Like your your in, innovative planning, put it in like uh, I don't know. I might put the curry. I might eat it from a sieve this time and see how that works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a bowl. I'll just use a sieve. <laughs> and I won't use actual metal cutlery. I'll I'll use non paper straws cut out <laughs> in the shape of cutlery. <laughs> The amount of time and effort that would take. <laughs> Each prong. Can you imagine, like, cutting it? <laughs> I don't know how to bring this podcast back on track. I'm gonna so, that, I back to food. <laughs> back to food. Right, Hooper, we're going to rattle through yeah. the previous food items that you haven't done. Um, and then I've got some new stuff, okay. which I'm going to see what happens. So... Jacket potato, what do you have on it? I don't. I don't like potato. Oh. Ah, what at all? It's the same as brownies. <laughs> if anybody listened to the last podcast with me on and got bored with me talking about brownies, welcome to potatoes. Um, <laughs> so pretty much, it's the gamminess. I can't stand it. I, I like... Oh, it's like, I like fries. I like roast potatoes. I like mash as long as it's like proper... I was about to say juicy. Mash isn't <laughs> juicy. <laughs> that is... I was about to say that's wrong on many levels, but based on this podcast, we've been wrong on many levels for quite for 25 minutes now, based on how we started. Let's pop to an ad break. Do you want juicy mash? Are you bored of stale mash? <laughs> Are you fed up with having dry mash? <laughs> then order a box of mash juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no because i can't stand the stuff and that is awful that's grim <clears throat> yeah, juicy that's jack- mash juice <laughs> mash juice that is just isn't that gravy <laughs> uh no <laughs> milk <laughs> oh what? what almond mash milk juice no, the next thing that they'll be doing, right? The next thing that hippies will be doing will be using mash juice instead of like normal milk for coffees and creamers and things like that. Hippies? Are you living in the sixties or something? <laughs> yes, I'm living in the sixties. That was the best word that I could come up with in this absolute cluster. So yeah, I- you were actually oh, born no. then, Jerry. Hang on, about this ain't Woodstock. <laughs> This is 2023. <laughs> <laughs> might as well be Woodstock. We might be on to something here. We might be on to a new best product. <sighs> yeah. Mash, mash, juice. Mash, mash juice. It's not that easy to say, is it? <laughs> <laughs> mash. Ma- no, mash. Want, ma- maybe we can spell juice. J-U-S-H. Mash juice. <laughs> Do you want some mash juice? <laughs> Hey, you over there, watch Mash Goose. <laughs> You'd have to do it 
doing the voice of Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where's yes, we'll get some masters. <laughs> masters. <laughs> I like a shake and not stir. <laughs> <laughs> Oh we can God. we can put it in a, mati- in a martini glass. I mean, make it. Oh, I don't know. I'm not... <laughs> Do you want some mash juice and a? As we're now talking about my two least favorite foods, which is olives and and <laughs> and mash. Who's talking about olives? Martini generally has an olive in it. Oh is yeah. It not... See, I don't drink, so I don't really know this kind of information. This is true. This is yeah. true. Did you not have one at your wedding? I, I had think, quite a few at my of... wedding. Uh, you did yeah. have quite a few at your wedding. You didn't really have much of a choice. No, no. And this is the only times I drink, really, is, uh, is, is those kind of special occasions. Hopefully that's only once. <laughs> you, your wedding is the only nah. <laughs> once. Again, divorced. Going again next year. Let's go. <laughs> Does it count if you renew your vows, or do you have to marry somebody from fresh? <laughs> Go and marry somebody from fresh. <laughs> from fresh. <laughs> like, fresh sounds like it's a fucking delivery service. <laughs> well, you've thrown me now with juicy mash. Right, so now I'm just thinking, come and get your fresh fries. <laughs> and your Deliver mash juice. your door. <laughs> All in one convenient place. <laughs> Need it quick? I can... One day delivery. <laughs> fresh bride. Fresh I can bride. see the text from my mother on this one uh, later on. Fre- fresh fresh you said that, like On a marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Four for a pound. <laughs> fresh bride. <laughs> Four for a pound. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I hope you're all enjoying this podcast so far. <laughs> please leave a review. Please write your comments below. Let us know yeah, what you're thinking. Yeah, please do subscribe. And buckle up. There's still 62 <laughs> hours left. <laughs> I'm not sure Jerry's... Uh, Jerry's going to have the uh, world's strongest abs by the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> laughing so much. Oh, my God. It's, it's, why, it's why it's taken so long to get me back on, because you've all had to recover. Uh, <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. What's interesting is we've had so many guests on. I remember when I originally pitched to you coming back on, you were like, yeah, look, I'm up for it. Like, next month. I was like, the next I can fit you in is June. Yeah. And you were devastated. Yeah. Aww. I was, like, trying to get on regular as well. I was like, yeah, I could be on every month if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> It's also because I don't have a life. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> um, so jacket potato is a no-no. Big no-no. Yeah. Best form of potatoes? Um, gnocchi. Chips count, by the way. Mm. Hang, hang about. That's not one discussed. <clears throat> way it's not the that. same texture, Jerry, before you come at me. <clears throat> it's not just <laughs> potato, though, is it? Nocky's no, it's flour as well. Yes, that doesn't count. Yeah, it's main ingredient is potato, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah is it? I'm not so sure. Well, uh, like mashed potato is not just ma- mashed potato is not just potato Ho- when you think about it. Hoops, is, you see hoops is ch- face it just changed. He's like, listen, this is my this is my house. <laughs> this, this is <laughs> my house. This is territory. This is my territory. <laughs> my turf. I know what I'm I talking f- about. I feel like you're trying to get your own back after the whole I don't eat fruits with savoury. <laughs> yeah, the, the coronation chicken quote, yeah, I think, was the one that really threw coronation threw. chicken at me. Okay. <laughs> you threw coronation chicken at me. It was too much. It was too good. And I, I had no comeback. <laughs> and no it's comeback. taken you six months to write your revenge. Six months of therapy <laughs> to get over that. <laughs> And a monthly dose of mash juice. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast Fuel is brought for the to brain. you by. <laughs> this podcast <laughs> is <laughs> jovial, brought to you by mash juice. <laughs> mash juice. <laughs> I am going to Photoshop something later on. <laughs> I'm thinking about making a reel about it. <laughs> I think you should. 
Oh man. Some of the, I don't know how I'm going to do just like four reels for this month. I'm going to have to do like six. I'm going to have to do like a reel every day. I think just for the first day. 30 minutes. You're welcome. <laughs> Tagged in every single one. <laughs> right. Condom. Con, con, I can't say. Condom. Condiments. So yeah. I Are they acceptable? I read this. There's no context to this. Are condiments acceptable? Yes. Next question, please. <laughs> well, no. So, okay. Bacon sandwich. <laughs> yes. Brown sauce, though. Oh, no. Whoa, hold up. So bacon sandwiches hold have up. Oh, no condiments. Here comes, here comes basic bitch with his ketchup. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. nothing. No, don't, Naked. Don't sound, don't sound so sure. Bread. Shocked. Butter, bacon, done. Oh, yeah, Spe- butter, okay. Respect yeah. the bacon. Oops. Respect, <laughs> respect the bacon. You need to have a bit of goddamn respect for the bacon. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> him as well. We're all connected. Respect him. Yeah, respect him. We're all connected. You can't, I can't take you seriously when you said we're all connected after you've mentioned Kevin Bacon. Seems about the only thing that he now does with his life is those bloody EE adverts. No, he did. He did Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. He was in Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special, and it that was very funny. Some of it was. I mean, it was mostly cringy, yes. but some of it was very funny. Yes. <laughs> it was exceptionally cringy. And <laughs> I had to sit like <laughs> the whole way through. Just. Did you watch? But did you have watch you seen the Jerry? new one? Uh, no. <clears throat> uh, the last film I saw him oh. in is Footloose. <laughs> That's like <laughs> nice. <laughs> this shows your age. <laughs> Being Hooper born in the nineteen nineties. <laughs> I mean, what year was Footloose? That was a long time ago. Oh god, <clears throat> let's have a look. Footloose came out in nineteen eighty four. Eighty four. seven years older than me, and <laughs> what's that? Eight years older than you, Hoops? Uh, yes, I had to do math. You, you're 30, yeah. Uh, you I, have turned 30. I am, and I'm 31 in... Uh, when this podcast comes out, five days' time. Yes, four days', four days time. time when this podcast comes out. Hmm. So there we go. I, I, I live and I know these things. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I should be just. I'm just like Ty- Tyrion, Lan- uh, not Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister. <clears throat> I just don't do the drinking, and I'm not very sh- short. I'm very I was going to say you're literally short. the fucking opposite. <laughs> opposite. <of this> guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just know things. Everything that Tyrion Lannister is, I'm the opposite. So therefore, I am him. <laughs> exactly. Logic. So glad you're a software engineer. <laughs> I'm not anymore, which is great. <laughs> Well, I can see why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need the jokes. Uh, I do- the amount of jokes that I've had, especially recently, where people have been diving into the old code, going, Dom, you wrote this. Yeah, it was probably terrible. <laughs> do you remember how it works? No. no. <laughs> Did you document it? No. No. <laughs> we didn't have time. You just Did you document I- it in Confluence? What's Confluence? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, you just right. did an identity version of yak shaving. Yes. Didn't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of. Not quite. I can without see where you're ex- coming yeah, from. With, but without being explicit about the steps. That you, it's like, yeah, yeah, who yeah, are you? I'm, I'm Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> it's, it's in today's podcast, Hooper. <laughs> oh, I'm now looking at the six steps to avoid yak shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironic because the whole point about yak shaving is you have to do steps that are normally not interconnected. Oh. Like Dom and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> yeah, whereas I did six steps to say, I'm exactly like Tyrion Lannister, except I'm not short and I don't really drink. But I know things. <laughs> what? Multiple steps. Oh, full circle. Yeah, exactly. I'm like Margot Robbie. I mean, I'm not a woman and <laughs> I'm not blonde, but I have ears. <laughs> One or two? <laughs> <laughs> I, I only saw one. Hashtag just I know. saying. <laughs> this, is, this, this is something that my wife points out as well. In photos, you will only ever see one ear. Don't know why. My ears... 
are so small. <laughs> there you go. You got two there. There you go. Winner. But I don't know why. They're just so flat against my head. Um, so there we go. That's a little fact for everybody. <laughs> I have flat ears. <laughs> oh, Jerry's died, Honestly, so I don't know I, what we do. This is killing me. I love it. <laughs> so, yes, cond- um, condiments are acceptable, uh, Brilliant is the answer to the question. Right, great. Uh, having meals at the wrong time. <laughs> See... This is something that I've learned recently, right? And I was in Mallorca this week for work. um, And the Spanish don't eat until eight o'clock in the evening. This is time that restaurants are are open. And I'm fucking starving by that point. (laughs) Because we eat dinner roughly between five and six. That's the general time that we eat dinner. Oh, ah, so originally this question is more about, would you have a bowl of cereal for dinner? Well, and that's have not a dinner at lunch, so I cannot uh, answer that. No, it's not just it's very true. But I, I, th- I actually, that's an interesting point. Yes, the Spanish, for some strange reason, eat at like nine, eight, nine p.m. And I'm like, dude, I want to go to bed at nine p.m. And I can't. I need about four hours before I go to bed. Otherwise, I just feel horrendous. I've been in Italy and seen people walking into a restaurant with their family, young family. So, yeah. like, they're holding a daughter, for example, and she's fast asleep, and, like, seven-year-old daughter, eight-year-old daughter, fast asleep, and they're rocking up at the restaurant at 10 o'clock at night, midweek. Mad. Like, what the fringe? And then they order a big meal. Yeah, it's... To, to me, that's too late. Too late. Like, it's too late. <laughs> don't, don't, <Sorry>. don't. <laughs> um, but would I... I'm gonna die. Would I eat a bowl of cereal... Yeah, I, I, do you know what? I don't eat anything at any fucking time. I eat pizza in the mornings for breakfast, so why not? Yeah, exactly. I think that's the best way to do it. Can't beat pizza. Right, and then the last one, which is, do different pasta shapes taste different? And are there other things that taste different that shouldn't? I can't remember the example I used on the second one. I did have a great example. Both Thai pasta, was it? Uh, you gave the example of the, no, 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 on when the, you get the, the tubes. Top. Ah, like cutting cutting bread in different ways. Oh, yeah. So does bread yeah. taste different if you cut it diagonally? It so does. Uh, lengthways or widthways? It so does. No. Nobody cuts does. lengthways. You think completely different. You're looking at as if we're crazy hoops. I'm waiting for this logic. <laughs> okay. There is no logic. It just does. <laughs> exactly. It just does. Okay. It's like the uh, earth is flat, just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not logical, but just accept it. D- do does pasta taste different? Fresh pasta and and dried pasta, yes. Pasta shapes. They taste different. Um no. So there's logic behind the pasta shapes. Um and it all depends on the sauce that you have or the meal that you have. So for example, spaghetti bolognese is not italian in the fucking slightest um no, it's not and they will scream at you because you're using the wrong pasta with that type of ragu you should be using a thicker pasta like tagliatelle or pappardelle or, yeah. or anything like that and if you use thinner pasta like spaghetti it should be a creamy sauce so it should be carbonara kind of carbonara. and then if you use thinner kind of sh- like shell pasta or um the bow tie i'm pretty sure is called fuff Fefeli, yeah. Then Fefeli. they are more a heavy, creamy kind of sauce uh, mm-hmm. to go with fish and stuff. So the pasta, I don't believe, tastes different, but it creates an experience with the dish. Is how I would put it. Oh, look at that! Now that's a profound yeah. piece of. I think that's the first bit of logic that's come out of this <laughs> this particular podcast episode since. And the first bit of seriousness. We are 41 minutes <laughs> in, folks. We're 41 <laughs> minutes in. Although it might be a bit shorter for you because we probably had about five minutes of um, yeah. <clears throat> outtakes beforehand, yeah. which were um, which you may see the light of day at some point. <laughs> but, but... <laughs> And I, I'm hoping other people have experienced this because otherwise I'm just fucking crazy. Have you ever gone to like eat something or drink something and in your head, so say for example, a drink, let, let's go with a drink. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to drink some, I don't know, Coke Zero, for example. There are other mm-hmm. Coca-Cola brands available. 
not just Coke Zero, just okay. Um, but actually what you've got is a Sprite. And you go to drink it and you're so fucking confused because you're like, in your head, you're like, oh, this is what I'm drinking, but you, you're tasting something different because you've forgotten what it is you, that you actually picked. Please tell me other people. I mean, <clears throat> recently, for some reason, the trend on the internet seems to be like to hide like you drink and have like a Coke, a Coke Zero diet. Oh, Coke, the taste test. Pepsi, a Pepsi, and do a taste test. Yeah. That seems to be the current trend on the internet at the moment. It's actually an old trend. Um, we'll go with that. Yeah. It, it just seems <laughs> to be popping up. I think that's probably due to the popular, like, of Prime at the moment, mm. where they're doing like different flavors. <laughs> I just think your al- algorithm, algorithm's a bit behind, to be honest. Yeah. Well. <laughs> just whatever pops up on YouTube, I'm like, oh, this is clearly popular. In or in five TikTok. years' time, Dom, stop oil will become a trend on your algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> I just avoid that one. <laughs> but the example I do have for you, yeah. they Heinz did a limited edition green tomato ketchup. This was I couldn't years do it. ago, right? Yeah, I couldn't do it. It was in like just like oh yeah we're a talking spirally, like, it's a probably... spirally kind of looking bottle right yeah okay, I'm, I don't I'm even having remember to Google this. this I don't remember this at all dementia setting in mate oh thanks <laughs> <laughs> green sauce so- they could just called it green sauce yeah okay. yeah it was tomato ketchup and it just had green dye in it and I just couldn't I yeah. couldn't eat it because of the color. Just couldn't get it. In, couldn't get my head around it. Yeah. It tasted exactly the same, but because it was a different color, just couldn't get my head around it. You can get other brands of it. Oh yeah, look at that! Green tomato ketchup by Heinz. I'm not sure about that. Heinz green sauce. Hmm. Well, they're bringing out loads of stuff now, aren't they? They've done a collab with Absolute Vodka. And they bought out um, oh, really? a vodka pasta. Yeah, because vodka pasta is like a, a trend at the moment. You'll, you'll learn about it in four years or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, t- I'm down with the kids. <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite video, one of my favorite videos on the internet is Jeremy Clarkson going, <laughs> going. I'm down with the kids, and then he just goes, "Damn on it, one one." <laughs> it does that, <laughs> and he goes, "I speak the language of the youth." <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson, honestly, love it. Jeremy Clarkson, damn on it, one one. <laughs> Look at the way young people are approving of my car and my stickers. Dabbit Wagwam! I speak the language of the millennial. I can see my mother being like, please don't ever do that again, ever, Don. <laughs> yeah, and get that rude man off your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to have this. Right, I'm going to try something that may break this, okay. but we shall see. I am actually going to share my screen. What? Let's. Uh... Sorry, I've just come across something yeah. which is oh. Heinz Hanch wasabi oli <laughs> and tart chop. New condiment combination. What? Yeah. <laughs> Heinz what? Yeah, hang wasabi. On, yeah, there's one. <laughs> so it says you've already heard of. Mayo chup and mayo racha, but they've got this. They've got new blends, which is um, hanch dressing. Oh, oh, here we go. Wasabi oli is wasabi with garlic. I can never say it. A aioli. See, I, I always go to say something which is not really. A i o l i. <laughs> I'm going to read it how it's spelled. Just garlic mayonnaise with wasabi, basically. Then tar chop yeah. is tartar yeah. sauce with ketchup. And then. Sounds disgusting. Hot sauce with ranch. 
is the hunch. Not sure on that one. I'm not sure on that either. And I like hot sauce. Anyway, mm. sorry. However, it hasn't broken, I don't think. And hopefully yeah. you can see it. Yes. Th- this is actually a trend that's happening right now. This stuff on TikTok. Yes. Oh, welcome to yeah, the 21st I am cool. century. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not completely out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. My life. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. It's really boring. People are going to be listening and going, who the fuck is this sarcastic prick? <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been on the podcast before. They know exactly who you are. And... <laughs> We've had Adam on as well. And he's just as sarcastic as you are. <laughs> what is- so this, this yeah. is to pick the best uh, pizza crust and base. So it is a uh, a tier list, a bracket fight, whatever you'd like to call it, um, to kind of show, like to choose which is the best one. Um, I could have gone for a tier list where you put them in like, Top tier, middle tier, bottom yeah. tier, but I've decided to just do a plain fight to the death. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I created this earlier on because I'm cool. Oh, like is this that. actually like a um, a program that you're using? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, I thought you had already just gone. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's just put Calzone or Chicago in the middle. You yeah, don't I, need to worry about the rest. Yeah, yeah I, I thought it was just like a PowerPoint slide. <laughs> 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 It's got an ad at the bottom, Jerry. All oh, right, yeah, okay. Maybe you're part of an affiliate for Victoria Plumbing. <laughs> oh, f- <laughs> yeah. Just things in jovial. Brought to you by <laughs> Mash Juice, Victoria, Victoria Plumbing, Plumbing, and Mash Juice, Juice. and Coke Zero. <laughs> Which one do you want first, the Victoria Plumbing or the Mash Juice? You probably want the Mash Juice first. You'll need the Victoria Plumbing probably afterwards, by the sound of things. I would probably get the Victoria Plumbing first, so that's ready for when I have the Mash Juice. Yeah, I was going to say, the Mash Juice does sound like some very terrible laxative. Yeah. Well, you, or just fill up a whole bathtub full of Mash Juice. Light some candles <laughs> oh, <God>. enjoy. <laughs> Guinness Book of Records, right. here we come. <laughs> We are. Re- I'm relying on you, Hooper, okay. as the resident pizza expert, to tell us which you think is the Ooh, best out of these two. So Chicago-based or Calzone, Chicago. and then I'm expecting oh, Jerry sorry. to argue with you on every single one. <laughs> Chicago, hands down. Uh, I agree, Do you agree Jerry. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. This is this is working out, isn't it, Dom? <laughs> yeah. He's just backfiring <laughs> big time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So, do you want a classic, like, plain pizza, like, base, or double-decker, so it's like a sandwich? What the fringe? Um, uh, single. Single, single decker. So yeah, classic. classic. What the fringe? Doubled? I've never come across that. That's ridiculous. Uh, it's actually a, it's actually a thing. Um, okay. I don't have my pizza book on me, but no, it's, it's a real thing. Chicago or classic? Um, is it is it the whole pizza we're talking about, or just the dough? Well, I mean, the whole it's got it's got to be the whole pizza. I don't know how you can just have the dough without the pizza, if you know what I mean. No, but you're judging. Are we judging just on the dough? The topping you can change the topping. Yeah, you're judging on the crust and the and the base rather than necessarily like because you could have whatever you want on the pizza. So when when we're talking about classic, are we talking about Neapolitan pizza? Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of or like that? We can't <laughs> we like can't that. have these variants when it comes to pizza, right? <laughs> yes, let's say okay, yes. Thank you. Uh classic. Okay, classic. And then on the other side of the bracket. So Italian thin or sourdough? What the fuck is Italian thin? I don't know. I just picked like these ones, like really thin pizza. Did you make this up? <laughs> yes. Right. I just went on a, a on a couple of popular like restaurant ones and was like, oh yeah, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this, there's this. The sourdough is is is, is a little bit different. Um. 
for this one, sourdough. What? The Itali- Italia- Italian <laughs> thin. Well, it depends how thin. Because there are pizzas called cracker thin. Cracker thin pizzas yeah. is what they're technically called, where it's like real crispy. Uh, but sourdough, just because the flavor is so much better when it comes to a pizza with sourdough. Fine. Sourdough. Jerry's saying no to that. Stuffed crust or using a tortilla? Do you want to let Jerry speak? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 12 times that man has tried to say something. If we can go right back to the beginning. <laughs> oh, do I need to hit the reset no, button? Is that yeah, if you can happen? reset the whole thing. No, actually, I'll go with sourdough. I'll go with sourdough. I, I was thinking about it. I have had sourdough pizza before. It is actually very nice. Yeah. Mm. Some people call what it sourdough, sourdough when it's not what is, sourdough. What the hell is sourdough anyway? What is it? Sourdough is naturally fermented stuff. Um so normally when you when you ferment dough, you add yeast to it. Um but this you add natural yeast, so it gets it from the air pretty much. Or you could you could go outside and you can get like a leaf off like a bramble bush and put that in there because it contains so much yeast in it and and that'll be your natural yeast and you and you let it ferment for i mean people can ferment it for years um sourdough starter and you just keep like topping it up and refreshing it and refreshing it and refreshing it and then it just builds up this amazing kind of taste uh, and that's what sourdough is pretty much sorry just i do have sure. a question are you are you seriously suggesting that 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 you can you can ferment pizza dough for years? Yep. Um, not the entire dough. So this is called it's called sourdough starter. So it's it's something that's kind of like um, going to kick off the fermented the f- oh, fermentation process when it comes to putting it in the dough. Um, but yeah, mm. the sourdough generally you you let it ferment for, for or like as long as you like, pretty much. But okay. it's using nat- natural yeast rather than just normal yeast. Could you use a toenail? I mean, <laughs> yes, but that'd be fucking disgusting. <laughs> and if somebody put that in a menu on a restaurant, <laughs> would you like? Toenailed sourdough pizza. Oh yes, please. That sounds fucking disgusting. I'd still take it over pineapple. Hashtag. Just <laughs> 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 Listeners, help me. Just help me. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I there don't... you go. Google says sourdough is naturally leavened bread, which means it doesn't use commercial yeast to rise. Exactly. <laughs> then Flanders is yeah. right. Tortilla or stuffed crust? When you say tortilla, do you tortilla? That's everything. Tortilla. Do, Sorry, do, I put tortilla do you mean an actually? <laughs> I did. I, I did skip over that bit. Um, did you actually mean like they use a tortilla as the base? Yes. Oh no. Uh, then it's got to be stuffed crust, right? Stuffed crust yeah. all the way. Sourdough or stuffed crust? Sourdough. Sourdough. Oh, it hurts me. I love stuffed crust. <laughs> yeah, well, you're you're a Domino's fan, aren't you? I just like I'm, I've learned one thing in life where and I've been cooking. Uh cheese makes ninety nine percent of the meals better. <laughs> it's true, we've had this conversation, okay. haven't we? You can grate cheese on anything and it will taste better. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that in the last podcast, and that's technically not true because <laughs> I wouldn't put it on the porridge. That's for sure. I, uh, yeah, when I say cooking, like you don't cook porridge. You <laughs> well, what? Bake. What do you do I with would, porridge actually, then? I would have said you baked porridge. <laughs> or what about grated cheese on ice cream? <laughs> no, if you don't cook ice cream again, to do be you? fair, you do have um, stracciatella ice cream. Which <laughs> there is you go. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but um. there you go. <laughs> oh, what's the one they're shoving coffee? It's called like a frigato or something. Frigato? Affrigato? 
where you shove a know. big dollop of ice cream and coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but putting ice cream and coffee makes sense because it's just cream and <laughs> coffee, right? <laughs> it's people who dip their fucking uh, McDonald's what? fries in milkshakes. Like, oh yeah, but you're not a, you're not a sweet and savory mix guy, are you? No, I am. Well, you, oh, you're yeah. not sweet and salty popcorn, would you? Oh, all the time. Yeah, if it's going to cinema, mm. sweet and salty. Can I just like salty? Don't don't piss about. <laughs> like shit or get off the pot. Don't do both. <laughs> don't shit on the seat and down the side of the bowl. Aim. Get it in the water or just shit on the floor. Don't go halfway. <laughs> aim, aim, ha- aim. <laughs> Firstly, who the fuck in this world can aim having a poo? He can. Of course he can. It's like playing and basketball. B, just plant your ass on that seat. It's very difficult to miss after that. What if you're hovering? No wonder the toilets at work were always like a mess. <laughs> oh, now we know what's know. happening is Jerry's <laughs> fucking squatting and aiming. <laughs> probably puts probably puts Ride of the Valkyries on whilst he's doing it. Drops <laughs> away. <laughs> I just got an image now of somebody doing this. <laughs> Come on, land it. <laughs> Left a bit. Left a bit. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'm going to get this section over. Which is the best out of these two? Sourdough or the classic? Uh, classic. Yeah, classic. Would you agree, Jim? I, I do. There you go, class. Nothing can beat Neapolitan pizza. Or oh, actually, Detroit-style pizza is pretty fucking good. I don't know what I I read that. I don't know what that is. So Detroit style is um, thick, thick dough, and it's normally um, baked at a lower temperature. So Neapolitan pizza, high temperature. Mm -hmm. Detroit is in a still pan, and then they put cheese right round the edge. So you guys will love this. They put cheese right round the edge. So when it gets baked. The cheese goes nice and crispy and creates like a nice crust around it. And oh, it is, it is fantastic. Detroit style pizza. Oh, wow. That sounds perfect. Mm. I mean, pizza is the greatest food, known to man. I cannot think of anything better. 100%. I challenge anyone to tell me a better food than pizza. They can't. They just can't. There'll be no, because there'll be no even comments food that. that you. Because even food that you like, whether it's like a steak, you can put steak on a pizza and it's just good. Yep. What about curry? Yep. Yes, you can you have, can have curry on a pizza. Absolutely. Soup. Sure, why not? <laughs> sure. Might be a bit sloppy. <laughs> Yeah, but then we're going to go into the whole argument we had last time we had Hooper on the thing, was whether it's a soup, a sandwich, or a salad. Oh, yes. I forgot exactly. about that. I don't think you can cross pollinate those that three. Would be a sandwich. Pizza's a sandwich. Even if it had soup, soup, soup on it. Yeah, but even if it had soup on it, I think the sandwich dominates. Still be a sandwich. It'd still be yes. a sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There you go, listeners. There's, um... <laughs> we are an hour into this podcast, and we've done the first section. <laughs> well, we haven't even finished the first section. It's one of 12, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the beginning, you said we're trying out something new. And I've lo- I have I have the notes in front of me, people. Okay, so I get sent the notes. I know I'm spoiling the magic of this podcast. No, no in fact, we've already said that we have notes. I know everybody's wondering, oh, how do they make this so amazing? Um, we we have notes. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> um, and I can't even see what this new thing is. And I've listened to nearly every podcast. No, I know. I'll, I'll Hashtag say, exposed. I'll say um, so yeah, even I'm excited to hear what this new thing is. Because <laughs> I can oh, see it's it coming up. I think to be fair, I think to be fair, Jerry is excited 
and you'll understand when we get to that section. Um, we'll do excited. the last two questions then. I didn't sleep okay. last night. <laughs> Eating pizza with cutlery. Yeah, fine. If you want to, crack on. Be my guest. Oh. I, I, I always thought, Jerry, you'd have a, a, a complete affinity to that. I I eat pizza with cutlery sometimes, most mm. of the time. Sometimes you have no choice. When some restaurants bring it out and they don't give yeah, you a pizza like... cutter, what are you going to do? Roll the fucking thing up and chuck it in? <laughs> like... Well, I was going to say, <laughs> smoke it. Is it a rolled or is it f- <laughs> <laughs> rolled or folded? Because do you like fold it like this? Or is it flat? So we'll come on to that in a second. Actually, just coming back to the um, whole pizza. Um, to any pizza company listening, if you deliver pizza, please deliver pizza uncut. Reason being oh. is because it stays warmer for longer. When you cut it up, the heat comes out a lot quicker. So leave it uncut. Let them cut it at home. They're not idiots. They know how to cut a pizza, hopefully. Note to self, buy a pizza car. Yeah. You can just use a knife. They they work as well. I do have a knife. Yeah. Bear oh, with me. <laughs> Bear with me on this. Go on. You know when you get pizza delivered, you get like a mini table, don't you? Yeah. Oh, you don't get it anymore. Don't you get a little mini Not in some of the places I've been. No, no. It's one of the things that annoys me. Oh. It seems to have stopped doing it, which means that sometimes that it's been completely decimated by the box, yeah. and you're like, for muddy funs' oh. sake. <laughs> Because I was wondering. I love like, how you lot are not swearing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's try to avoid this. And I've like, you've gone, gone like a trooper. I like it. I like it. <laughs> trooper Hooper. So in <laughs> in Sweden, that's sticking. Do they have yeah. like an IKEA? So it's flat pack. So when your pizza arrives, <laughs> you have to assemble the little table and then take it off. I don't know. Is that how it <laughs> <looks good? laughs> yeah, three, three hours of arguments and conversation. We haven't got a drill bit small enough for it. <laughs> Hang about. I've, I've made it, but there's this one piece. Is it a leg? There's a spare piece. A spare leg. Well, it's better to have a spare one than not to have one, because you have to go to Ikea and get, get, that, uh, get that given to you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Right, and then folding or flat pizza. So, do you fold the pizza? Um, it, it all depends on the size, really. If it's a large piece and you can fold it, it's easier to fold and eat. Uh, like New York style pizza, they're they're fairly mm. large. But when you have a Neapolitan, generally you can just hold it flat and it'll stay pretty rigid. Yeah, I'm trying to think the size of the pizza that I had up in Newcastle. It was something ridiculous. Like the slice was like the pizza was like 21 inches or something ridiculous. It was a ma- and the pizza slice. Honestly, the pizza slice was like half of a normal size pizza. It was huge. Um, so you only had you literally bought a slice, and that's all you needed. Nice. Um, that was just after I'd been to a uh, a bar. So we'd gone into this bar at two p.m. and it's a retro gaming bar. Right. So you buy tokens, and there's like Time Crisis Two. There's the oh. dance mats. There's um, you know Tekken oh uh, and all those all those like retro games, and you can literally just play those games. And then it's a cocktail bar, so all the cocktails are themed um, for like the different video games that you can play. So there's like a Mario one, there's a Zelda one, there's a you know etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, it was just interesting to go into the bar at two p.m. and come out at five p.m. Yeah, <laughs> on a Saturday. Um, we were the, one of the first people in there, and it was completely empty, so free reign. And just at 5 p.m., everyone else was just coming in like, oh, yeah, this is quite nice. We'll do that. It started to get busy, so we were like, well, let's dip, and let's get some pizza on the way home. Oh, my God. That's like the reverse of a clubbing night out. Because <laughs> you well, do you it in the day. <laughs> you start yeah. with a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> start with a big on a kebab. I mean, that would... Interestingly, <laughs> starting with a cat with a kebab would purely actually be the sensible option because then you're lining yeah, well, your yeah, stomach. You're absolutely right. So what you want to do because when you're in a club and you know you're trying to, especially if you're trying to attract, <laughs> attract you know a mate, nothing's better than than <laughs> <laughs> Donna meat. Oh, oh, is that the mate call I hear? <laughs> oh. I'm I'm picking up the scent <laughs> of a 
and ma- well, have somebody garlic sauce. Is, like, <laughs> garlic sauce. Actually. I was going to say, well, clearly, as the only one of the three of us that is single and not married, <laughs> I clearly am doing it wrong. Well, there you go. Is that how? Is that how you got Chloe? Is that <laughs> when how I, I Chloe? I'm going to say. So, what was Jerry's mating clothes? <laughs> was it peacock feathers? I didn't even have to use a mating. I didn't even have to use a mating call. I put a doner kebab into a blender and I blended it for about half an hour <laughs> till it was literally like <laughs> liquid. Then I put it in a vaporizer. I strained it. I put it in a vaporizer and it was like sex panther. <laughs> Onion, <laughs> burger sauce. Of the time. It works every time. It does. Made from bits yeah. of real elephant so, leg. So in... <laughs> Distinct and jovial, sponsored by Victoria Plumbing, Mash Juice, <laughs> Coke, Coke, Coke Zero, Zero. Bab Sex Panther. <laughs> and are you looking for a mate? <laughs> Watch this instructional video of how to do it in the clubs. <laughs> Get a 50 mil vaporizer. <laughs> 50 mil vaporizer. A blender. You know, you know how on like David Attenborough, like the uh, the birds create their nest, and mm. like the male birds will create it and clean up and stuff. And there's like people in clubs just like picking up fag butts and just like, <laughs> shit off the, off the floor, <laughs> collecting all in one corner. Caca! <laughs> <laughs> Torn off bits of doner kebab bread, like the end bits that nobody wants. <laughs> Those tickets that you get, like um, for your coats and stuff. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and olives. <laughs> well, yes. As you pick them out of your martini and go, "What the fuck is this?" And just like flick it across the nightclub. <laughs> If if anybody wants to date Dom, get yourself a stuffed crust pizza. Stand outside of his flat like um what's the film? Say uh, Love Actually. Oh, is it Love Actually? Say anything when he's holding the stereo. I was oh, that or that one. That yeah. one'll do. Yeah. <laughs> that'll do. That, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> do the mating call and he'll, he'll, he's yours. <laughs> The thing is, right, I live opposite a pub, so to be honest, I'd be like, oh, what idiot is at the pub drunk this time? Yeah, they've told you to put your binoculars away. It's creeping out the customers. (laughs) Binoculars. Uh, (laughs) Dom, do you do the twitchy curtains? Right. Do you do twitchy curtains? Do I do the twitchy curtains? What, look out? I'm not going to lie, right, the best... Right, uh, I'm gonna That's a yes. Off, off <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, moving but on. The best, thing happen- right, the best thing happened the other night, it was it was glorious. Right, so um, I'm going to caveat this with two things. One, I am a massive... I'm going to say petrol head. I like cars, right? Uh, doesn't matter whether they're electric or petrol. I, 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 I like cars. Um, and I do live opposite a pub uh on a main road in the in the place that i live for quite a main road so quite often at like 11 o'clock tonight which is you know in about an hour you'll get them all coming out and it'd be a courser with the exhaust you know the size of yeah. you know uh, a head and making a ridiculous noise that does not sound good it's three thousand decibels and you, you know and it normally wakes me up as it goes past the best thing ever happened the other day. Somebody comes out the pub, off the off the you know off the rev limiter, change up, just slowly grinds to a halt. And outside, outside, literally, it's opposite my the window that's here. Outside, there is a there is a patch of it must be some fluid, whether it's oil or you know something like that, and it's still there. <laughs> and it's still there, right? Two weeks later, and honestly, I'm not going to lie, it was a twitchy curtain. Bit. It's like, oh, I wonder what's going here. And there was uh, lots of bonnets going up, and lots of effing and jeffing as they wander around the car, going on like that. And inside, I'm going, <laughs> nice. I wonder if it's like, De- oh dear. Delorean from like the. <laughs> you know when he, he opens up the thing and he's like chucking banana skins and mash juice and stuff like that and then it just goes 
Yeah. That'd be a different Mario Kart, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be the, that would be the one I choose. Bonus power up for Mario Kart. Yeah. Mass juice. Because if Makes somebody you go throws, faster. yeah, if somebody throws a banana skin at you, it doesn't actually do anything. You just pick it up and chuck it in your petrol tank. Off you go. <laughs> you, you would win. <laughs> you would win Mario Kart. Um, have down. you ever played Mario I Kart, have. Jerry? I was going to say. In Jer- Jerry's right, got the uh, Jerry's got the advanced version because he. he when there's a banana skin, he's got the one where they actually stop. He he has a simulator to get out the car, pick up the, <laughs> the banana, <laughs> pop it in the pop it in the fuel cap, <laughs> and then go Mario simulator. And then very quickly up pops the uh, up pops the old symbol of keep Britain tidy. <laughs> <laughs> Get back in the car. Drive on. <laughs> Honestly, my face hurts. <laughs> he got so excited, he's dropped his mic. <laughs> drop. That was a drop the mic moment. Literally. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Is that mic just falling yeah. off? My mic fell on my lap. <laughs> right. <laughs> Going to pieces. Well, there you have it. There you have. It. There you have it, viewers and listeners. You have officially been in Jerry's lap. Yeah. <laughs> that, just for a second, there, everybody. Just for a second, <laughs> was in my crotch. <laughs> <laughs> we will send out free acid for anybody who wants to wash their brains <laughs> and their eyes, <laughs> their ears. <laughs> Distinct and jovial. Brought to you Back by to thinking... Mind Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so that's what mash juice is used for. <laughs> oh, right. <sighs> right, room 101. Yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hooper, this is all yours. I'm I'm hoping there's people that share this with me because uh this is something that annoys me every single time. And I think we need to put Stonehenge in 101. What? Yes, it's always what? amazing some stones. The issue I have with it is I drive to Heathrow quite a lot for my work, okay? And yes, I understand that Stonehenge is this national heritage. If you want to see it, go fucking pay and park up and go see it. Do not drive 15 miles an hour on a 60 mile an hour road because your wife wants to take a fucking picture of it to send to her niece in Australia. <laughs> like, we do not have time for this. Move out my fucking way. I'm either going to Heathrow, so I need to get there, or I'm coming back and I am fucking tired. So please move. So I would like to put Stonehenge in room one of they, they need to put they need to put like a massive billboard around it or something to stop people from seeing it from that road they'll get more visitors they'll gain more money because people then have to pay to see it and i get an easy life so women <laughs> that's my room 101 that it's- was very short compared to last episode <laughs> i am i'm genuinely yeah. stunned because if somebody yeah. said to me, go through a list of the things that you think Hoops will put into room 101, Stonehenge would have been number <laughs> 10,413 <laughs> on the list. Stonehenge. Yeah. It's so Stonehenge. random. Stonehenge. <clears throat> It can fuck off, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just, it's just anybody who's not seen it is stones. Google it; it's the same effect as seeing it with your own eyes. Okay, and it is exact. Like people put them there. The government put them there. Let's start a conspiracy. The government put them there. <laughs> We've done a conspiracy theory for a while. That's true. Like, like they they spend all of this money in towns for deterrence for speeding, right? So they put in those traffic karmas, speed humps. They just need a picture of fucking Stonehenge. That'll <laughs> slow people down for you. <laughs> All the Stonehenge. Yeah. So, we, so you'll, have moved. Like, you'll have a school and coming up to the school yeah. will be a big picture of Stonehenge. <laughs> or a replica exactly. of Stonehenge. Or a replica. Yeah, I like it. 
I like and it. then people will slow down because everybody likes to take pictures of some stones. See, if you said this to somebody and you said, oh, there's a stone out <laughs> there, go take it? a picture of it, they'll be like, mate, you need to go to the mental asylum. Like, this, what's wrong with you? But apparently these stones... Yeah, these are the stones. These are MS stones. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> But what I did notice, funny enough, when I was driving back last time, if anybody's been to Stonehenge, it goes from a dual carriageway into a single carriageway, like, oh, and it always backs up, right? And I was in that traffic. I looked to my right, and what do I see but a massive fucking stone? I'm like, did they just give up on that one? Did they, did they not want to move it? Yeah. Why has nobody noticed this one? Yeah, coming from the east to the west, as you climb up the hill, there is one random stone of Stonehenge that is just like three quarters away. Yeah. They failed three fast. Three mile away from. It was an MVP. Yeah. They failed fast. <laughs> there you go. We're they probably built them. To Agile. They probably built them and then like looked at this poor slave who's had to fucking trap this across the across the UK and gone. Do you know what, Tom? Yeah, leave that one there. We don't need that one. Fuck it. <laughs> We've completed Fuck it. it. <laughs> Looking at the diagram, yeah, I think we're all right, actually. Thank you, though. Thank you for for taking that 6,000 miles across the globe. Um, we, can go, we can go home now. <laughs> to be fair, it's the sort of thing that they would do to me if I was around in those times. You so, said, oh, Jerry's a fucking pain. What are we going to do with him? <laughs> Send him off. Just get him to get what, bring one of those stones. Jerry, we're going to start another one over here. <laughs> Let him crack on, and well, then we'll just we'll build our stone circle here. Don't, don't tell him. Keep him busy. And I'll tell you for why they would do that, Jerry. It's because <laughs> the mess you leave in the toilets after you've tried out a shit. <laughs> <laughs> my aim with your my aim with your squat and aim. They're not they're not enjoying it. <laughs> I don't think you can comment, Jerry. That's something you'd like in life. <laughs> I don't know. How to... You are a single man. You are a sing. You are a single man in a multiple female household. Although you and the dog, one of the dogs, yeah. Larry, be me and Larry on the uh, <laughs> on the dog bed. Oh. <laughs> and then we'll both go outside in the garden at the same time, squatting. <laughs> I'll be I'll bark to be let out. <laughs> <laughs> I've already commented on your bedroom prowess during this, this during, during lack this of. podcast. <laughs> lack of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. So long as you spray <laughs> Li- <laughs> liquidated liquidated Donna Kebab. I'm telling you, it's a game changer, right there. Well, you have to. What is it like? There's a. You have to hit a seventy percent success rate, right? To to say they're successful. Sixty no, percent of the time, it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, if anybody is listening, um, <laughs> and you want to complain about uh, Jerry's toilet uh, issues. <laughs> Or you want to fund for him to go into a care home? <laughs> please phone oh seven four seven. No, <laughs> I was worried you're going to give my mobile number out there. Was that the start of your mobile number? <laughs> it wasn't far off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> At the risk of giving too we much away, just... that's my that's my pin number. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We we should just find a local business and be like, phone this number if you want to complain. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well there we go, oh, there we go, wow. listeners. Uh, so if any of you hate Stonehenge as much as I do, um, then yeah, please let me know. Please tell me I'm not alone in this. Can we put that in room one hundred and one? Would it fit? <laughs> yeah, it fit. Yeah. I think the beauty of Room 101 it? is anything going yeah, But who's going to lift it to put it in Room 101? 
You can't get Tom. one of those like trolleys. We get, we get Tom back. <laughs> we get Tom back. We're well, gonna get one of those trolleys like you. You slide the thing underneath and just like tilt oh, it back. <laughs> yeah. Where do you, <laughs> Where'd you want this? Uh, room one hundred and one. A oh, couple uh, of forklift drivers. Yeah. I'm sure it'd be fine. We used to uh, ride around home base in those. Nice. You, you, we used to use them as scooters. Nice. I would like to say when the shop was shut, but not always. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, dear. Right, Jerry, did you want to add anything else in, or do you want to move to your the next Let section? me look at, refer to my list again. So we've got... <laughs> oh, is he going to say NHS again? Yeah, Hold on, Mother NHS, Teresa. babies, orphans. <laughs> NHS, cute puppies. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm all right, actually. Let's let's move to the next. Yeah, You're I'm all right. right this week. <laughs> this month. This month. Oh, dear. Right. The new section, Hooper. And I probably should have asked you before this, but have you seen the movie Predator? No. Sorry. Oh, I'm That's sorry. Great. Okay, wait one second. I, well, I, so... I... Cut! <laughs> Everyone, take a break. Take. A... Don't do that, because I'll get confused <laughs> when I edit this later. <laughs> Every... Someone shouted, cut! Why has cut. he done that? Cut. Let's take a one-month break. We'll reconvene in a month. You haven't seen Predator. <laughs> what the actual no. fringe? I know. No, what do you want me to do about it? Hang on. Watch Let it. Me just load up Netflix. <laughs> yeah, right. Stay Watch there. It now. Pause, pause, pause a minute. <laughs> it's an hour 47. Oh my so. God. Interestingly, one interesting thing that I found from that film, Jerry, and I'll explain in a minute, sorry. Um, the credits, three minutes. At the beginning or the end? The At end. the end. Three Why minutes. Did you sit through three minutes yeah. of credits. Well, because I, I, I Before always it's a Marvel kind of film. The... No, 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 no. Right, before Predator we go too much to further. So... Arnie and then going, Arnie, kitty. <laughs> I know, like, I'll be back. <laughs> get to the chopper. Um, so for context viewers, I have not seen pretty much any film in the world. Right, There's, I've seen the kind of Marvel and the Star Wars things, but I've not seen as they'd call it, the classics, and one of those being Predator. Uh, I actually have seen Commando, um, and I have a very Arnie-loving uh, coach and instructor. Um, and I also share the name from the main char- one of the main characters in Kindergarten <laughs> Cop. So quite often when I'm, at, you know, when I'm training Taekwondo um, and I'm being told to go faster, I had two coaches that would be, come on, Dominic, come on, what are you doing, you idiot? Or something similar to get me to move faster. <laughs> it was reasonably successful, but obviously picked up. That sounds like a very toxic place. <laughs> oh, it's super <laughs> toxic. It's like high level international competitions, and the reason why I'm in therapy half my time. But, yeah, but anyway, that's that's a whole different that's a whole different world game. Let's not go in there. Let's not go there. Um <clears throat> anyway, where was I? So I have finally gotten around to watching Predator this month and this new section, which is currently just going Dom's movie review, but it will probably expand to me and Jerry watching the film in a month, in in the month and then talking about it. So these will probably be spoilery-ish reviews, but we'll try and limit them as you haven't seen I, it, Hooper. Not that I'm sure it's probably something you would go... And when watch. was Predator? When did it come out? 87. Right. So if I haven't watched it... In this many years, <laughs> I don't think I'm worried about spoilers, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's one of those got to be when it's, it's got still to be. fresh. That's the second time we've used fresh. <laughs> Actually, the, the Dom's movie of the month, that, that definitely lends itself to jingle, doesn't it? Dom's movie of the month. <laughs> Dom's movie. Dom's, <laughs> Dom's movie God. of the month. Oh man, I can't take this. <laughs> right, um, so I have officially watched Predator. Is the Woo! is basically it. So I was, and Jerry's looking forward to just hearing about what I said. Um, so <laughs> and, and, I'm just gonna pop. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop on TikTok at this point. Uh, <laughs> wake me up when you're done. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't seen Predator. What the fringe? <laughs> Sorry, I've just... Uh... You are actually on TikTok. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm 
doing a Sudoku. I <laughs> do <laughs> that. I don't even know where to start. You need to change that seven to what an eight. What number goes there? <laughs> seven. <laughs> no, eight. No, no, that was wrong. Sorry. Uh, now game over because I've lost all my chances. Aww. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> no, no worries. Anytime. <laughs> right. This film. The first thing I'd say is the fir- one of the first scenes is when um, is it, it's Dutch meets... Um, oh, God, I've forgotten his name already. Carl Weathers. Uh, I just know the actor's name is Carl Weathers. Yeah, it's, it's, play, it's played by Carl Weathers. <laughs> um, oh, God. No, oh. I should have had this up. It's okay. I'll look it up. Bear with me, film? caller. So I'm just unpre- reading. <laughs> Bear with me, caller. Uh, Carl Weathers plays... Um, Dylan. Uh, Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Dylan. Right, so the first thing that happens, right, one of the first things that happens is they, they have they have a mid-air arm wrestling Love match, it. which I think was only used just to show Arnie's biceps. 100%. 100%. Um, the other thing is, when I sent a photo to somebody, you're, I had to have the subtitles on because my speakers wouldn't go high enough to play... The, the, the talking, and then I had to turn it down every time there was an action sequence because it was so loud. Nice. <laughs> In comparison, it was just the opposite. But yeah, um, basically, really enjoyed the film. It was uh, an hour and, I'd say, well, it's an hour and 45, uh, 47 minutes. And I expected like 20 minutes of credits that you normally get. But when the film finished and I looked at the time, I was like, there's still, there's only three minutes left. So there's only three minutes of credits, which I found pretty fascinating. Only three minutes. Three minutes is a long time. Three minutes. For credits? Yeah. These days, credits are like 20 minutes. Really? I see. I never sit through. Them. Yeah, I, I never bother. As, as soon as I see the thing, I, that's it. That's me done. I'm out. Uh, well, both me and Hooper have, have watched Marvel films, so they're never twenty minutes, though. Yeah, you'll be surprised how long credits. I think are. that's called the subtitles, mate. <laughs> just got the no, subtitles on. <laughs> I think that's called the film. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. that's called an episode. <laughs> Oh dear, um, but yeah, this film super cheesy. There's some real bits where I was like, "What the actual fringe?" Like the first time they go and invade a camp, loud explosions, loud shooting. They jump into a section. Everything pauses. He stabs a guy with a machete and then goes stick around. I mean, <laughs> right? And then everything goes back to shooting the explosions. Really? And it was just so. Like, the, I've, there's comedic timing, and then there's, I'm just going to make it blatantly obvious, I've made a joke in this film. <laughs> I love it. So just just on that point, I do think Predator was a fresh addition to action movie genre. There was no fighting gangs or terrorists or enemy nations. It was the toughest of the extraterrestrials versus the toughest on Earth. Man, they don't like make them like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's my thoughts on it. And you're right. <laughs> I think yeah. you've summed it up perfectly. This is from View and Review on IMDb. <laughs> that's their that's their name. <laughs> <laughs> um, gr- I don't even know where to go. Great quotes. I haven't got time to bleed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But hang um, up. There's another bit to that. It's because then he says, but "Have you got time to duck?" Yeah, that's it. You got time to duck, and he yeah. shoots as he shoots the grenade. You're bleeding. I ain't bleed. got time to bleed, but have you got time to duck? Genius. Yeah. Um, the heat haze on the predator, fucking awful. <laughs> like the CGI in some bits is truly yeah, dreadful. That, yeah. And people go, yeah, but it came out. Well, you say this right? They go, oh yeah, but it came out in 1987. Yeah, but four years later they made Predator Two, and they managed to do the freaking like melting through the bars plus 1977 star wars no hang about whoa 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 Pred- don't fucking Predator come 2? at star wars no the star wars is yeah, good no, star wars is amazing no no no, no, no but terminator no. 2 <clears throat> terminator yeah with melty two. man yeah he was amazing yeah terminator 2 91 that's only four years later you know, 
to even like 30 years later, every time I see that actor, straight away I go, oh, Melty Man. <laughs> it's like there's some people <laughs> that will just never lose that. It's like Jim Robinson from Neighbours. So he starred in a whole bunch of other stuff, <laughs> right? A whole bunch of other films and programs and things. And every time I see him, I go, <laughs> yeah, it's Jim Robinson from Neighbours. Because... <laughs> Well, it's like RDJ, isn't it? From he's he's going to be known as Iron Man for probably the rest of his life. I don't know who that is. Robbie Downey Jr. Yeah, what else has he been? And I'm trying to think. It's been quite a bit. He has been in quite a lot. Without googling, go on. Without googling, I've got Scooby Doo. Exactly. I know. (laughs) (laughs) And don't say Captain America because that doesn't count. (laughs) <laughs> what about the other quote which goes she says the jungle it just came alive and took him I love that yes I love it it's really good it was a really good so it was a really good film I really enjoyed it I thought um, that there is uh, like of its time I thought it was going to be it would be amazing but uh, I think it needed a bit more um <laughs> how to call it like it was there was some real weird pacing to it it was a very quick film for something that was labeled as a horror film it wasn't very horror? scary because really? it was too quick yeah it's kind of lab- it is labeled as a horror film it was very gory yeah they were you know they're blowing holes literally blowing holes in each in each other one so um and to answer your rdj question by the way hooper he was sherlock in the american sherlock holmes was that from googling or memory that was from memory. That was just, I was trying to think. That's why I was hesitating. Like, oh, I'm sure he's been in something else. <laughs> Permission to just um, come up with another quote. Go for God, it. God damn. Buddy, 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 buddy. I've seen some badass bush before, man, but nothing like this. I hear you. <laughs> the shit something makes Cambodia look like Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a guy, right? So it's a guy with the glasses that's trying to make the joke oh, in the beginning yes. about yeah. the girl with the massive. Yeah. And it's like, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> so, yes, that was my review. I would say four out of five. Four stars out of five. Nice, Dom. I'm I'm genuinely pleased for you. And now this is this is the homework for you, Hoops. Between now and the next time you come on this podcast, you have to watch Predator and rate it and quote I'll it. I'll be frank. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your honesty. I'm not going. I'm not going to lie to him. Be like, oh yeah, I'll definitely do that. No, no, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> you, you. I always thought you were a film buff, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, it, I don't know. There's got is a certain film that takes my fancy, but aliens aren't really my thing. And don't say Star Wars because they're not aliens. That's real. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. I know that Toop is a massive Star I Wars fan. I couldn't tell really. I, I I had no idea. I don't think you can well, like, the stormtrooper you. helmet to, yeah. to his left. <laughs> the R two D two. I haven't seen this. Ooh. Oh, oh no. no! Yes. Oh my! Whoa. Okay. Hold up. That that's the rest. That of this is podcast. a Obi Wan replica. Um, that Kirsty got me for Christmas. I'm really, really sorry. I, I, I have to ask you to do that again. Yes. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> and when, when you wave it around, can you... Or is it attached? Oh, it makes noises. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it goes... It, the, the, vroom. Vroom. Oh, good. And then there's a button. Hang on. Where's the button? Got there. <gasps> Molly. Honestly, right? Okay, God. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch a question to you both. Oh. Can you name <laughs> name a film with better sound effects than Star Wars? Bearing in mind that I think Star Wars definitely has the top 
five, four. I can think of four good sound effects off the top of my head. Mm. So you've got the lightsaber clash. Mm -hmm. Stormtrooper. Then you've got. Oh, I didn't think. Um, yeah, you got the stormtrooper books. Then you've got you've got Dark the tie. I call it the tie fighter scream. Bring it too fast. Mm. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you've Chewy. got um, Darth Vader's the... Darth yes. Vader's like yeah <sighs> yes just just that alone. <sighs> um. Then you've got the um Chewy Sonic. Um, Sonic uh, grenade that um, Bulba Fett releases and Django Fett releases, where you know where they it goes silent yes. and it destroys the mm -hmm. asteroid. I think that's one of the most incredible noises that they've ever produced. <laughs> then you've got things like Chewie, R two D two. I cannot think of a better okay. sound design. What about also movie? When are we going to destroy Alderaan? And you've got those guys with the funny shaped helmets and. It's as they as they're putting all the power towards the laser. You can hear everything just go. Mm. Oh Ooh. yes! Yeah. And then you see the, the green laser, and they're like, ah! It just <clears throat> yes, yes. Commence primary ignition. Yes, there's no, there is no set of films that has a better sound. <laughs> and what were those I things that were opportunity? Utd, Utd, and it, <clears throat> that was the one where they tried to sell Uncle O in the the, the dodgy the R three <laughs> unit. Oh, oh, the Jawas. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, and then you've got like the Ewoks oh, as the well, Ewoks. which are just uh, you know. <laughs> and you got the um, what are they called the sand. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. sand yeah. people. Sand people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No Star Wars. Tuscan Raiders. Tuscan Raiders. Yeah, I agree. Apart from yeah, there's no Boba Fett. The uh, series on Disney and Mandalorian season three are boring as shit. <laughs> oh, I haven't got that far. So. Yeah, I haven't seen them either. <laughs> Looking forward to getting there. Wow, you really <laughs> sold it to not. me. <laughs> yeah. Well, while we're talking about movies, then yes. uh, let's do as quick fire as we can. Okay. Um, best rated Star Wars film. And it doesn't have to be of the main nine. It can be of the spin-offs as well. So let's go for top three. Oh, top three is easy for me. Go on. No, in in order, order, third to first. Okay. Third to first. Third, okay, third to first, I would say um, Rogue One. Okay. <laughs> I can sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Rogue One. No, no, no. Um I think I'd have to go Empire, mm -hmm. then the OG, because the OG is the OG. New Hope, yeah, New or... Hope, Episode Four. Have yeah, to. New Hope. Hoops. Um, and third would be Obi Wan. Okay, I thought that was very well made. Uh, second, and hear me out. Hear me out on this because I know you're going to shout at me straight away. Phantom Menace. What the? And <clears throat> okay, hanging up for two. For two. <laughs> We're hanging up <laughs> right now. Reasons. One, it was the first film my dad ever took me to the cinema to see. Okay. And yeah, two, it's nostalgia. Darth Maul to me is the best villain ever. Like. More yeah. so than Darth Vader. You haven't seen Predator. Darth Maul is just... You haven't seen Predator. <laughs> Within the Star Wars. No, no, no. 
The Darth Maul's quite creepy. And he had the he had the double lightsaber as well, which I thought that was a bit of a game changer. Yes. Mm. I thought, what the fringe? Like And mm-hmm. some amazing music that was Yeah, yeah the music and, scores for that. Yeah, Battle yeah. of the Fates is yeah. the name of isn't it? It's, it's that, yeah, that sequence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and number one, and then number one, same as Jerry, New Hope has to be. Oh, interesting. So I would go for uh, number three for me would be um, episode six. I thought you were saying episode three. Like for me, no. episode <laughs> three. <I was> thinking, <laughs> no. What? Episode six. Um, f- uh, number two, Rogue One. Yeah. Um, and for first one is Empire Strikes Back. Admirable choices from you all. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we can all agree that the the newest three probably not up there at the moment. I mean, not aesthetically, well they are incredible. Like with yes. like the the red salts and all of that, and when the fight scenes and and all of that on on those salts, amazing storyline for me. It's too childlike. And mm. I think I like the depth that the original trilogy had. Yeah, I think um, I think my problem with the newest three, they just did John Boyega like dirty. They just ignored his character. His character could have had so much depth. Mm. Um, I'm going to say something controversial here. One thing that I did find incredible, I went and watched it, it at the cinema and I loved it. Well, I watched all of them at the cinema. Episode three, the intro, where yes. you've just got the boom, 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 and you see all of the, the Star Destroyers. Yeah. And then it's just the way that they did yeah. it, where you've kind of got this, like it actually made my stomach go as they sort of went over the edge of one mm. of them and they, they went down. And you could just see mm. like the perspective of it with the planet and all of the other ships underneath. And I thought, ah, oh, that's... That was really well done. Again, visual effects, mm. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I would agree with that, to be fair. Yeah, no, there's no, like, generally Star Wars is up there for most things. I think, other than storyline, I think that's just where they got it wrong. They mm. just seem to get yeah. the storylines wrong in later films. But it is incredible, um, though. Don't you find it fascinating? Because I, I, so, my daughter, who, well, she's 19 now. And this was years ago, and and I said, "Oh, we, I managed to get these speakers." So a friend of mine said, "He had this speaker set, but he was getting rid of them." And I said, "I'll, I'll, I'll take them." So I like bought them off him for about forty quid. It's about two grand's worth of speakers. I set it all up, and I thought, if you're going to test this out, there's only one scene that you have to play, and to also see if if it can yeah. cope with the bass. I thought, right, I'm, I'm going to test this thing. I'm going to mm. test this mother. So. I put on episode four, the intro, where you see, you know, just the, uh, I forgot what it's called. The, yeah, yeah. And it, and it's, yeah, yeah. Star and Destroying, the Star chasing Destroying, as the, it comes out, um, comes into view and you just get that rumble as it's come through. Yeah. And I, and even my daughter, who's not impressed with, and I mean, anything basically connected to me, she just goes, oh God, it's automatically, it's like, oh, dad likes it, so it's got to be shit. <laughs> Even she looked at it and went, yeah, actually, that's really impressive. And I said, yeah, 1977. Mm. 1977. I always say this, uh, I always say this about, um, like, Star, the, the original Star Wars films, that, um, that, like there, some of them are impressive now, but can you imagine what it was like to be in the cinema in 1977 and see I was there. that come out? You must have been like, you must have like lost your literal. Shit. I didn't <laughs> sleep, so I I actually didn't sleep for about three. No joke, I had nightmares for about three nights after watching that. After my mum took me, we went to the ABC cinema in Ealing, and it was it was that scene when they introduced Darth Vader. I was absolutely shit scared. Reason I like Rogue One, I think that just that end sequence with Darth Vader, like, and the way it just seamlessly yeah. goes into like episode to, into that episode. It's interesting. I don't put A New Hope in my top three, and I, I don't know why. I think it's probably number four, 
um, if I'm honest. But I just I just think the other two films are stronger. A lot of people saying that episode six is not as strong, but just yeah, really tricky. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, just that thing. I am super jealous of the lightsaber, by the way. Hooper. Yeah, super, super jealous. So one, oh, you need to get more? yourself a wife. <laughs> one, one more time. It's, sim- <laughs> it's simple, Dom. Get yourself a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I have you met me? You clearly haven't met well, my honestly... wife either. By the way, the last thing she'd buy me is the lightsaber. Um, honestly, God. <laughs> Literally, the last. Thing. Hoops, you've got to tell. You, you need to tell Jerry about your wedding. Which bit? Well, I mean, like all of it. The aisle. <laughs> like, it was all. Yeah, the aisle. So, well, not um, when you, not when you're we... consummating the marriage. I think that's probably no. Let's skip that bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the best well, bit. No, well, um... yeah. But <laughs> Kirsty probably had like the earmuffs <laughs> and a bikini on from a certain film. <laughs> um, yeah, we 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 um. That's throwing you. So we didn't we didn't do everything traditional. Like um we we added our own kind of flavour and our own spin on it. So one of the things was that I walked down the aisle with my mum, um which was was nice. And the um the song that I chose was a new hope when they are getting the medal oh. from the princess. Love it. Um, yeah, so it starts with this this trumpet fanfare, and then <laughs> it, yeah, and then it goes into it. And luckily, the photographer captured this perfect moment where everybody realised what the song was because hmm. it took some people a while, and everybody's laughing and smiling and yeah. all of this. Um, and then yeah, uh, so that that was good. And then in, in my speech, I, I did things like "You're my." Um, you're my aunt made to my uncle Ben. You're my R2 to my C3PO and all of this kind of stuff. So getting the Star Wars in there. Um, so yeah, that, that was quite good. Uh, we played rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we wrote our own vows and we didn't actually discuss who was going first. Um, and the registrar asked and we were like, um, so we're like rock, paper, scissors. So at the this end of the aisle, the middle of this we're playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> And then I won, and then we looked at each other and said, "What happens now?" Because we didn't discuss <laughs> <laughs> what happens when somebody wins. Um, so yeah, no, it was, it was it was it was a good fun day. Like we just uh, we well, I was crying with laughter. <laughs> it was very funny. We're just two people that just take the piss out of ourselves. Like we we don't take life seriously. Did you yeah. toast? Did you you also it? probably had one that. The... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Go no, first. I was going to say, did, did, you, you, did you toast with blue milk? <laughs> no, oh. no, no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. Should have. That would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah. That would have been the literal icing on the cake. I think. No, um, no, it was a very good. And also, Hoopy, you had one of the best, probably the best, um, uh, location. I think for it, it was because we had all the grounds and we had that like hall. But yeah. then it was. So Could we call it an orange ring, can... not a hall. Let's use okay, let's orange. use the posh term. It's an orange ring. Yeah, we orange-y. had an orange ring. So it wasn't in Mos Eisley. It was a golf course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a golf course, which doesn't sound things, but this this place was in the middle of the golf course. Yeah. You had to, I like my sat and the sat nav recognised that it was in the middle of the golf golf course. Yeah. So I went through this like yeah. ornate like archway like from a castle almost like castle turret yeah you go through it and the sat nav's like right please continue for a mile and a half yeah. i'm like what and you literally drive through the middle of the golf golf course and it says please you know fortunately all of the all of the um like smacking sections as I, they're smacked away from the road so for anybody playing golf the they're called of... tees but <laughs> that's the one smacking <laughs> sections <laughs> Where you start? It's not you some kind think. of golf fetish. Don't worry. <laughs> you know where you've got like your golf bats. <laughs> golf bats. <laughs> you do golf, racket. and then you come to the section. <laughs> golf, golf racket, golf bat, whatever you want to call it. Stick. Club. <laughs> 
Um, and then, and then in this place was like, so you had like a building that overlooked, um, uh, like kind of a very like grass, like a really nice grass area, garden area. And then round the round the back was where we were all staying, and you kind of walked into a courtyard, mm. and it was just like like surrounded by what probably were ex stables, but they'd basically been made into like the best way I can describe it is like mini cottages. So you'd like go in one, and nice. you know you'd have like a, a horse, know, a couple of rooms. The only the <laughs> only issue I had yeah. right. And for those that don't know, for listeners and viewers that don't have, have not met me in person, I'm six foot three. I'm not a small person, right? But the, the, the bathroom was upstairs in the loft. And this, so you've got a height of a bath, right? <laughs> so I don't know what, three feet, let's go two and a half feet off the ground. That's where the ceiling started to slope out. <laughs> <laughs> right? So... You, there was no stand shower because the roof was over the top of the bath. Did you have like? Did this. you have one of the handle showers? So you yes. had a handle shower, <laughs> but I'm six foot three. So if I sat down in an L shape in the bath, for starters, my ass and my feet were touching both ends because I've got very long legs. And then I'm so tall that my head was still pressed amongst the ceiling like this. So just like so. For the first time ever, I had to have a lay down shower in the fetal position because that was the only way that I could shower in this godforsaken thing. And then the other problem I had, right, this is going to get you even more. And we were talking about aiming earlier, right? I couldn't stand to use the, the toilet because the ceiling came out above the, above the toilet and I couldn't get close enough to reach if I stood. It just, it just it wasn't close enough. And then to stand, uh, to sit, sorry, I had to sit basically like this with my head pressed against the ceiling. It was a really, the bed was really comfortable and everything was really nice, but the ceiling configuration was mental. Oh, mate, I, I, tomorrow morning I'm telling Kirsty this story. Oh, my God. <laughs> You can listen to it on the podcast when it comes That's out true. on the first of June. Oh dear. Yeah, the <laughs> the obviously being old stables, they they were barns that they had converted. Um yeah, they were a little tiny, but uh, Yeah. They, they were really comfortable, they were lovely, other than the bathroom situation. It's like, let's just hope I don't have to get up in the middle of the night and do it while it's pitch black <laughs> banging me. Just get a sudden donk as I knock myself out on the scene. So you had to pee. Anyway. Yes. Oh. You had to pee sitting down. Sorry, you had to go, pee Jerry. sitting down in, in basically yes. what, assuming a crash position. Yeah, yeah, brace, brace. Yeah, brace, brace, brace. <laughs> if you shout, if I shout, <laughs> but shouted brace, I would have been in that position. Perfectly fine. Aircraft yeah. clash, but I'm totally good. Um, yes, I was sharing. I was sharing with. Well, I had the room to myself, right? Um, and then the other room. Uh, oh God, my name's just escaped me. Her name. <laughs> yes. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Yes. Well, and as it was two females sharing together. Oh, oh, two... was it? Uh, are you going to bleep these names out? Yes, I can do if you. If yeah. You, if, was it? If they... Yes. Okay. Was it. It was yeah. 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 Yes. I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah. So it was. That was. That was Hooper's wedding. Very interesting. Yeah. Fantastic. And then. My father-in-law doesn't know how to use a microphone. Um, oh so he was doing his speech and he had the mic like this. Uh, and then he would go like this and oh carry on no. talking like this. And no, yeah, he was, he was fucking, because <laughs> he, he was, he was, he was obviously a person that gesticulated with his hands as he spoke, yeah. but he kept doing it with the mic Brilliant. in his hand. So you'd end up with like things like the mirror, and it would end up like over here and over here, and then you can't really hear anything. It's like over here and over here. Brilliant. Yeah. But you, the, the weirdest thing of that wedding, right, is that Dom never showed up in any photos. 
that the photographer No, I mean took. no photos at all. How's that even None po- of them. What? How's that even possible? I so I have a very very special and unique talent. <laughs> it's my greatest superpower, Jerry. And I've never told I've never told you this before. I've pro- some people probably mentioned it to other people. So I'm, I go to fairly large tournaments in Taekwondo. I go to tournament. I go to small tournaments that are held by our local organisation. And there's always photographers around because press publicity stuff like that i have an amazing they're always chasing avoid... after me i'm so special <laughs> no, no, no. i have a genuine superpower to appear in very very few photos it's not like it is a special talent it's not like oh yeah dom you disappeared behind all those people you'd be towering over everyone i mean <laughs> yeah what the fringe yeah, I'm in, in. I'm none. I'm in none of. No, there photos, isn't a like single photo photos. of you at his wedding. There are photos of me at the wedding because m- myself and Hooper and I have it f- uh, ready to be framed for when I move house. Um, we took. Uh, Hooper had a photo booth. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Um, yeah. and there are there's a few of me and him and Hooper in in that one. Um, but there are no professional photography based ones of me. I just seem to avoid that all the time. And bearing in mind, I was with, um, I spent a lot of the time hanging around with some of our colleagues, and both of them probably don't even reach five foot four. So, how yeah, have you don't know how I did oh, it. Yeah, don't know how I achieved it. Table, but I do it at tournaments as well. I very rarely appear in tournament photos. Did, in that um, photo booth, was it, were the photos like in sepia, and then you had signs like wanted. Dead or alive, and like you had to wear cowboy hat. <laughs> yes, well, not they weren't in sepia, but yes, there were there, there, were, there props. were props there. I like it. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. The the DJ is a local DJ um, that we had uh, actually worked at said place. Um, yes, oh. he, he used to work in the in the canteen, um, and right. yeah, so we, we booked him. Um, and he's a very good singer as well. Amazing singer. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, he sang Queen at the wedding. And honestly, I didn't know it was him singing Mm. until I had actually turned around and was looking and it was him singing. I could not tell the difference. Really? What did he sing? Like, yeah, proper, proper. Proper X Factor, Britain's yeah, Got really? Talent kind of. He was on. Um, uh, I can hear your voice. I can see your voice. That t- that mm. ITV show. He was. He was on that. So what? What Queen song did he sing? Yeah. Oh God! Oh, that's a good question. Obviously not. It wasn't. I want to break free. I want to break free. Another one bites the dust. No, I can't. I can't remember what uh, what it was. Um, but we we played a game as well. So we did a quiz, and everybody had mm-hmm, to stand they did up a quiz. and either put your hand on your head or your bum, depending on what you thought the answer was. Um, my family went out very quickly, which was a bit weird. <laughs> Um, Guess who came top? Yeah, but I don't think I ever gave you the glass of wine that we promised as a prize. (laughs) No, because I wasn't drinking, so I completely forgot. Yeah, two of us, two of us drew. Two of us. When did you get married? How long ago was on that quiz? Oh, this is over a year now. This was twelfth of um, March. (laughs) Shit, twelfth. We edit that out. Twelfth of March, twenty 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 two. Let's do one more take. I'm going to do one more take. A bit more confidence. (laughs) Okay, Okay, ask me again. Ask me again. Okay, so sorry. Um, so when when did you get married? Oh, good question. Thank you for asking. Um. <laughs> oh my god yeah so we've just we've just had our anniversary not long ago oh, um, <laughs> so yeah we went we went back to the area that we got married and and had a night there and yeah it was really nice nice <laughs> Sorry, so, so yes. when, when was this? Even I knew it was the 12th of March. <laughs> 12th of 12th March, March, 22. Yeah. 
22. 22. Survived a year. Hmm? Survived a year. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we got engaged 2020. Yeah, 2020. Um, and obviously that was during COVID lockdown kind of thing. Um, so we thought we'd just wait a couple of years just to, well, obviously I think we all thought after six months, COVID will fucking pass. Yeah. <laughs> um, two years later. Um, Three nearly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we booked it for like two years after that, hopefully. And we were able to have the wedding that we wanted. Because I know some people were having like ridiculously small weddings. Yeah. So Yeah, I had... um. So I had one in twenty. I no, sorry. I had one in May twenty one, mm. and they still had the limit of sixteen on that one. Right. Um, and we and I missed the ceremony, but were then kind of basically this. It was really, it was really fucking weird because the the um, ordain counted as one of the people. Oh, come on, oh. but because they weren't at the reception. They basically they left and I arrived. Oh, okay, <laughs> pretty much. Um, uh, and and then a few other people were leaving the reception and didn't join. And some other people yeah. left in, so we joined the reception and didn't do that. And so we had fifteen of us. And then we they did a they did a party a year later, um, basically. Um, and then we had like the proper reception, so to speak, yeah. in the same place. And she she wore the wedding dress again and stuff like that, which was which was really good. Um, that was another one where I stayed in a Harry Potter cupboard, <laughs> <laughs> but I stayed in the literal Harry Potter oh, really? cupboard on that one. There was a hotel at the bottom of the hill in um, Malmesbury, um, and the room, like you go into this room, and it was and it was under the stairs. And the room was just wide enough to have a single bed and to walk next to it. And then behind the single bed was kind of the seat that you normally get. And then the bathroom was literally, it was tall enough in this case, because the stairs came from the bed that way. Um, But then the bathroom literally had a shower cubicle, like sort of like against the wall there. And the toilet like poked out like sort of like this so like the shower door missed the 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 toilet by literally like a millimeter and only because the shower cubicle was so thin that if i went like this dunk (laughs) hit both sides so trying to get any kind of lather on you when you're having a shower was just impossible and then yeah it was a single bed where the ceiling was literally like almost brushing my head when i was lying down you kind of had to sort of scoot down the bed by about four inches otherwise it just wouldn't fit at my height my feet (laughs) my feet were dangling off the end because i'm six (laughs) and can you hear like obviously people are going up and down the stairs so you can hear them i mean it was not too bad because i didn't get back until like sort of half past 11 so most people were in bed by that point okay so yeah, I've stayed in some weird hotels. That's why when everyone goes, oh, anyone goes to me, oh, do you want to stay in this fancy hotel? I say, fuck off and just give me a normal <laughs> premier in because I'm fed up of these just, weird just places. Give me a hole in the ground with a sheet of tarpaulin. No, and I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on a minute. Right, so actually, this is interesting. So I'm now going to, I know we've gone completely off tangent. Every single wedding that I have been to, the sleeping arrangements have been interrupted. So Hoopers, I had the problem with just the bathroom ceiling. Um, You're not fucking sleeping the, in the bathroom, so hang on, hang on. I guess even I guess <laughs> the, the, the hotel hotel room arrangements, let's say. Okay. Um, with uh, my friend Steph's, I had the Harry Potter like room, which was like tiny, um, but it was cheap. It was like eighty quid. It was Sorry, really cheap. Eighty quid. Um, <laughs> wait, eighty wait, quid. Well, well, hold yeah. up, hold up. Oh, but it was cheap. <laughs> eighty quid. 18 more like. including breakfast it doesn't matter 18 quid <laughs> i wouldn't have paid more than 18 quid to sleep under some stairs <laughs> fucking hell mixing like a <laughs> vacuum cleaner and dustpan and brush <laughs> fucking hell um <laughs> and then my the wedding i was the best man for so this is brilliant i rocked up to the hotel where the wedding was going to be and his uh, then future, but his current now mother-in-law was fretting, going, "Where are you going to stay? Where are you going to stay?" Blah 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 blah. Right. So my be- my best mate, he's um um he's in the he's in the army. He's a dog handler for the army, um and 
so you know here he's like give me a tarpaulin and i'll sleep on the fucking concrete floor if need be that's the type of person he is but he'd been telling his mother-in-law i'm I'm just gonna sleep in dom's bath right so i rock up and she immediately like ambushes me she's like aaron said that he's gonna sleep in your bath and i just go oh okay yeah fine (laughs) Right, doesn't even bat an eyelid, bat, bat an eyelid over it, and she, you can see it kind of go, what? as if to say, I was expecting him to say no. So basically, he hadn't arranged a room the night before his wedding because so obviously he couldn't stay in the room with his with his uh, now wife. Anyway, so eventually, like the night went carried on. There was a lot of banter. Anyway, as we got up to leave, he went, "Can I stay in your bathtub?" <laughs> And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So he rocks up to my room. And in the cupboard, there is a spe- two spare duvets and a spare set of pillows. So we put the duvet in, in the bathtub. And then he has the other duvet on top of him to sleep under. And he's got two pillows. What's really annoying is in the morning at like 4.30 in the morning, the curtains didn't close properly. So I just a beam of light like blaring in on my face. Right, and the bed was rock hard, <laughs> right? And eventually, eventually gets around to about half past six, and we went out for a run. Um, and you know, I knocked on the door, and he, he said, "Oh, I'm awake." And I said, "How did you sleep?" He said, "Do you know, what? I was really comfortable. I had like two duvets. It was like nice and padded." And I think I'm thinking, "Freaking hell! I've been stuck in that <laughs> shit bed with a beam of light across my fucking face, and you've had a better night's sleep than I have in, in my bathtub." Jesus. So yes, I've I don't know I've not had a wedding that I've stayed at and not had some like weird. I can't <laughs> wait to find out the next one you go happen. to, like what, what your sleeping arrangements are going to be. Yeah, I know. I have just been invited to one, and it's like four hours away, and it's on a Tuesday. Oh, no, I, I actually know it is every single one because even Samwise's wedding was weird because. <laughs> The room that I had, the shower was in the bedroom, not oh, the, the bathroom. Saying, yeah. So there was just a glass panel, and the shower was there next to the bed. I still think I'm. I, th- I think I think you're the issue. I, I don't think it's this room. <laughs> There's a common denominator here. It's you. Honestly, I could go on for hours about the <laughs> weird rooms that I've had in different places. Yeah, but so this next wedding, what is it? You're just going to be um, like. It's in October and it's on a, on a Tuesday. Tuesday, and you're going to be, um, I don't know, in, in some, a telephone box. The... <laughs> you probably like. Well, I'm in Derby, so I, believe, I haven't booked a hotel on yet. Some broken glass <laughs> <laughs> and a tramp pissing on you. <laughs> yeah, and it's still going to cost me ninety-seven quid in these and these days. And a rolled-up <laughs> piece of turf as a pillow. <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Oh dear. Right, well now that we've been distracted by my wedding accommodation stories, we have been going for two hours and ten minutes. Um and as predicted, we've still got like <laughs> three three sections left. Jesus. Um I'm I'm very happy to leave these sections out for another podcast and let these uh wonderful gentlemen get some <laughs> sleep because <laughs> it is now eleven o'clock at night on a Friday after what I'm sure is a well, it's a long week for me and Jerry because it's always, always a, a long, long week with where week. we work. Um and Hooper wasn't even in the country. Are we are we not gonna <laughs> do like are we not gonna do just a cheeky one, the topical event? Yeah, let's do that. The topical event. We can do the topical event, yes. So we've got two two sections on the topical event. Um, Hooper, you wrote the first bit, so do you want to introduce that bit? Which bit? The something you're oh, grateful okay. for. <laughs> I, I love that. That wasn't even crypt. Well, you wrote that wasn't both even cryptic. <laughs> cryptic. I'm going to no, give no, a clue. I've lost. I say no, the whole thing. Honestly, something the first, you are grateful. For. The first ten minutes of this podcast. <laughs> the first ten minutes of this podcast completely has thrown me. I have been. <laughs> So unprofessional in the way that I've conducted this podcast. Not that I try and make it professional, but I try and make myself sound reasonably intelligent and good. Yeah, definitely your fault. I had no part in that one. This is amateur hour. I thought I'd give the listeners something different, right? And you all hear these two moan <laughs> month after month. 
They love it. So I they thought I'd it. bring a bit of positivity to their lives. <laughs> oh, hang on. And I s- Dom's puking up already over <laughs> the word positivity. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. So it's what's interesting is I said at the beginning of this podcast that psychologically humans actually interact more, uh, uh, relate more to moans than they do to positive yeah, things. Hoops. Because I and I researched this when when I was talking about room one hundred and one and room one hundred and two, um, and I was like, "Why is room one hundred and one so popular? Are we just grumpy old men?" And it was like, "Well, actually, mo- more people relate to the grumpy old men. We are grumpy old men, but to the the grumpy old men bit than they would perhaps to some of the more positive bits." Um, even though both me and Jerry are people that would like to try and be a bit more positive in terms just of, to be clear so there are just things to be clear you're a grumpy man i'm a grumpy old man that is the difference <laughs> i'm a grumpy you're old not man. old you're just a grumpy man <laughs> i'm a grumpy old man yeah i, I can't oh, really no that. comment no, co- <laughs> <laughs> no comment needed hooper can say that as the youngest here <laughs> yeah youngest whippersnapper yeah. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Dirty. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now. So let's do something that you are grateful for. Ah, uh, you can go first, Jim. Oh, really? You know, <laughs> I'd yes. need days to think about this. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Were you, what were you? What were you going to put in one hundred and two? Did you manage to think of anything for one hundred and two? Yes, I did. <laughs> it's not something you can you can equate to what you're grateful for because one hundred and two is <laughs> things that are surprisingly satisfying, surprisingly good. Yeah, surprisingly yes. good. And for me, it's when you go to peel off a label off something and it comes off in one piece. That was that was my <laughs> that was my room one hundred and two. Not. Not those stupid fucking TK Maxx labels. Um, like, if you've ever tried to peel a label off at TK Maxx, you, you, you start on the corner and then that's it. You've just got the corner and then the rest of it's still stuck oh, on because they've then, got, like, the perforations in them. Oh, oh, so yes. T- yeah? yeah? Yeah, there we go. We've got him going. We've got him going. And another thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, for God's sake. I understand why they do it though. So that it's like a almost like an anti theft thing, isn't it? So you can't quickly. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's still annoying though. Yes, definitely. A bit of WD 40 sorts that out. WD 40 gets rid of stickiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't use it for that. <laughs> <laughs> Although you'll be uh, you'll be squeaking a little bit less probably. <laughs> Have you got mash juice on your shirt? <laughs> Get some WD forty sponsoring <laughs> distinct and jovial. <laughs> Lubricating the wheels of your conversation. <laughs> WD forty. <laughs> oh my god. I think WG Fort has been around for a lot longer than that. Yes. Remove the stickiness <laughs> with WD forty. <laughs> stickiness. You gone. two mock, but it's an actual thing. <laughs> you two mock, but it's an actual so, thing. Sorry, am I supposed to go first for this? Something you are grateful for? Yes. Yes. We've been stalling so that you had time to think. Jeez. Oh, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can I can say what I'm grateful for at the moment. What I'm damn grateful for at the moment is the damn good weather that we're having. Yeah, mm. <laughs> I cannot lie. Oh my god, I was born in the wrong country. I'm fed up of the greyish, the most grey Britain that we've had for the ages. Okay, this might make you be a bit sick in your mouth, but it is true. I <gasps> is it going to make you cringe? But in yes, a good way. This is what we want. I'm grateful for this podcast. Well, this is true. We've been through this a few times, we haven't have, we? And I'm just um, like, I don't know when was, I don't know the last audience. time I mentioned it. Are you not entertained? <laughs> um, <laughs> just, just and just the go crowd on. goes wild. <laughs> 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 yeah, genuinely, genuinely, oh, I've really been looking dear. forward to this. I always look forward to the podcast. There you go. Yes, it's your We've fault. We've been doing this for two years. 
two years <laughs> and it's a it's a thing we've got fans it's we've got people fault. that listen we make people laugh yeah. it's just great yeah i heard the stories about uh the people that timestamp this done uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Fucker. laughs> How many fucking bleeps? You absolute fucker. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> can't believe it. The, the title of this should be a bleeping good episode. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> that was the last one. <laughs> There's going to be no fucking content in this. This is going to be like constant white noise of bleeps. <laughs> All of a sudden, we become famous for helping people get to sleep. Get a good night's sleep. <laughs> 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 uh, yes you've heard stories so you've heard stories from the company that we work, yeah the company that we work like on, on, on your on your on your last podcast uh about the people coming up to you and you have no idea who they are <laughs> <laughs> has that person come up to you since because obviously that podcast has now been out for like nearly nearly a month about what well, we are a week off like the month now Oh no! The person you're referring to, we we know who they are. They don't know that we know that we know they they know who they are. It's a friends thing. What? So they don't know <laughs> that we know that they know that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think if they listen to the previous podcast, I think they might know. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do know now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jerry's been winding said person up all. Uh, all yeah. week. Yeah, they know that, that we know that I know. Along with the fact that he's... Yeah. Along with the fact that he's had to do a load of work with that person this week and shouldn't need to. <laughs> oh, whoa, well, whoa, well, wait. You'll probably have to bleep that as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Um, and then the other bit that we want to go to in our topical uh Items. Oh no! Actually, sorry, yeah. Hooper. You've got you've got to answer it as well. You're not going to get. Oh with it. shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, something I'm grateful for is I I'm Stick grateful for podcast. the <laughs> <laughs> shit. Sorry. Yes. Yes. I'm grateful for the distinct and jovial podcast. Brought to you by <laughs> that. I'm using as a fucking thumbnail. <laughs> You are be- that is the thumbnail right there. That's perfect. I'm James Hooper and I endorse this message. <laughs> <laughs> I am grateful for, even though it's been a very shit three years in the world, that I have a stable job and I have been okay. Here, here. That's I can't what. disagree with that. Because I know there are people out there struggling, cost of living crisis and all of that. Luckily, we've been blessed enough to be able to consume that kind of cost, that rise. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm grateful for, is that we, we mm. have that. There's definitely been a few holy shit moments. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, um, that's my gratefulness. Fucking I remember when fuel was like one pound ninety six oh, a liter, and I remember filling up and going, "Fuck me, fuck him." My car was so my f- car at one point was so empty that I hit the hundred pound limit rather than the limit of my fuel right. tank. Oh my god, yeah. Tom! Jeez. I was like, "Prick!" I don't think I've ever hit a hundred pound on 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 fuel. Uh, I've got a fifty five liter tank, um, and it was like <laughs> it was very empty. The only time I think I've had it more empty is when I when I ran out of fuel as I was driving up to the fuel pump and I had to push it the last like five really? yards. Oh my god! Jeez. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was amusing. I find it funny. <laughs> the the thing that annoys me, and don't get me wrong, I don't have a fucking clue about economics or anything like that, right? But the government have very quickly been able to get this meeting with some of the giant supermarket bosses to talk about the rise of food costs. But when it was fuel and energy, they didn't want to fucking know. They didn't want to... Yeah, because because 80% yeah, of fuel, fuel is tax. It's about 84 or 87%, something in ridiculous. 84, 84%. Eight, it's something yeah, like 84. Crazy. Yeah, 84%. But when you've got like... 
Shell or whoever it is making billions of profit in a quarter in a cost of living crisis. Yeah, yeah. They don't need that money. I, I, it's, yeah. The whole, listen, don't even get me started. This is, this will just literally be a room 101 <laughs> black hole rant. Everything, all positivity, everything will just get sucked into this black hole of my rant. It's a, fu- it's a fucking joke. So, you know, it's like, oh, oh a is. pack of rich tea biscuits is like £14.80. Hmm. I wonder if they're <laughs> yeah. rinsing us dry. <laughs> There's something not right yeah. here. Yeah. I'll put interest rates We need again. to do an inquiry about this. Yeah. We need to do an inquiry. But in, in the meantime, you've got the Bank Bank of England governor. It's just like literally has, hasn't got a scooby what he's doing. He's like, um, let's raise interest rates again. Yeah. Because, of course, yeah. that's what we need right now. Because the majority, yeah. 99% of the country is in debt and we're borrowing. So let's just keep putting interest yeah. rates up because the food companies are going, how much What's... longer do you think we can get away with this? I don't know. Just yeah. What's interesting, so did you read about Argentina? They put their interest rate up to 97%. What? Sorry, what? The cost of living in Argentina is so bad that the Argentinian <laughs> oh, equivalent of the Bank of England, 97%. 97%. So you think our 3.5 or whatever is bad, 97%. No, it's, uh, so the, ba- the base rate now is 4.5%. But if the Bank of England governor, oh, for yeah, us, yeah, if, if he carries on yeah. the way he's going, by yeah. the end of this year, it will be fucking 97%. <laughs> but, I mean... All right, I'm going to get a little bit... From an economics perspective, raising interest rates is what brings down the cost of inflation because what you do is you there's price a, people out of being able to buy to 18, shit. Wait, wait, wait a second. There's the, a 12 to 18 month the, time lag on that. And and it's not like yes, we're all fucking yeah. going out buying Gucci alligator shoes and fucking Louis yeah. Vuitton handbags going, do you yeah, know what? I went, my sick house. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah <laughs> I think I, I won't get that Bentley. But well, that, that, that's the problem, right? <laughs> The, pro- the problem is in, in, in the current economics is when you raise those interest rates, the people that actually benefit are the people that already have money. Oh, yeah. Because because they're, they're, it increases the rates on their savings, but it also increases on the things like their, their rental properties and, their, and the things like that. So to gain money back, they just raise the prices of that, which means that they make them more money on less people. Money, money and then, makes money. Yes. And so I, I'm going to have my, my rant and my, my thing. So the entire of the world's problem is purely based upon greed. Mm-hmm. If you treated people more equally and more friendly, you would get rid of pretty much every social economical problem that you could possibly have, right? You wouldn't have politicians being greedy and lying and which i think by the way like if you're a politician and you lie in the house of laws Gone. you should be instantaneously fired Gone. if not put in prison for a, a a little bit because that's like to me that's like that that's that then you've got things like right you've got supermarkets making record profits you've got energy companies making record profits right and n- the consumers don't see that stakeholders see that mm. right and i get you've got the, the the problem is is what what's happening at the moment is stakeholders are not willing to take a risk. When you become a stakeholder, you kind of sign yourself up to basically have the good and the bad times, right? If it's bad, you kind of lose money. That's kind of your job as a stakeholder. And what the companies are currently doing is trying to keep stakeholders happy. So in the bad times, stakeholders are kind of breaking even or still making profits. And the people that suffer or the people that like are employed or you know are now not employed as they fire people to try and save money. Mm. So things like um I think it's Bernie Sanders that says no person in the world needs more than a billion pounds. Every penny that you make over a billion pounds should be taxed at 100%. You don't what what, what are you going to do? What 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 is it that you can't buy for a billion pounds? When you think about it when you think there are countries whose GDP is less than a billion mm. and you've got people that have a billion pounds, it doesn't make sense. And and that's why what's happened is in the current situation that we're in is the richer have got richer, the poorer have got poorer. And as that disparity has increased, people, you know, it, it's put us in this kind of economic climate where, you know, th- that sort of things. And then don't get me started on like immigration and things like that because 
there's so many benefits to doing things kindly and correctly that we don't do and there's led us in that mess you know two party races and stuff like that it's just it's just mad it's just mad so 100 percent agree i'm grateful that i am in a fortunate position that i'm not in economic crisis but absolutely i watch the news and i go i totally get why people sit on the roads and protest and do things because it is infuriating the way that several countries around the world are run america uk mm. just to name a couple of them so i've had me rant at the risk of sounding very militant the only reason the only way that you're ever going to stop this is if there are consequences to the actions of these companies and the people that make these decisions and what the politicians do oh, absolutely there are no consequences we don't live in yeah. a democracy because politicians they just do what they want. They don't, they're not representing us or our interests. So they just do what they want. Big companies, they help the big companies. They're helping one another. They're helping the, the rich elite. And, and quite frankly, until there are consequences, this will carry on. Mm -hmm. It will carry on. It will carry on in my lifetime. My yeah. daughter will suffer as a result of all of this nonsense. It will just keep going on and on and on. And do you know what? up to the point where eventually everything's going to implode because you can't have a capitalist system that where you growth is expected every single year in a world with finite resources. Something's going to give at some point. It's already right. starting to, to crack. So it's only a matter of time. Yeah. I mean, your daughter's generation is probably going to be the generation where they will go, do you know what, folks? Enough I hope so. I hope what so. The fringe, what the fringe are we doing? Well, so so by the <laughs> by the way, when I say militant, I don't mean going around smashing things up and and setting things on fire. I I mean, you know, you could send a very clear message to retailers by drastically cutting. So if everybody across the country for let's say two weeks or three weeks didn't get petrol and bought their bare minimum, yeah. At, at, a, at, at supermarkets, for example, and and bought local and went and bought from farmers, directly from farmers and, and through other sources, right? It's so even better, don't buy fucking anything from any major supermarket or retailer. You just go to mm. local producers, you go to your local markets, you get everything local, and you suddenly see sales over the course of the month will just go to fucking rock bottom. And that will send a message. Okay, well, if you're going to put the prices that high, uh, we just won't buy any of your goods. We won't buy any fucking petrol. Mm. Have it. Have it. <laughs> Have it. Have it. Yeah, full John, John Smith. <laughs> and do you know what? That's the way you hurt these people because all they give a shit about is money. So you mm. take that away from them. That's the wake-up call. All right, you're going to do this with the prices. Fine, I won't buy any of your fucking products again then, you twat. And that's the end of that. Uh, yeah? Absolutely. That's what I mean when I say we need to get militant. <laughs> we need to do it. And we don't. We And especially in the UK, we just swallow everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Everyone just goes, oh, I really don't like this. And then we go on. British, British yeah, keep stiff calm and carry on. <laughs> Fuck that. Just don't keep calm. Do something rash and send a message. Because <laughs> they would panic, seriously. Right, if you, like, if you, yeah, if you would, want to bring, it, well, I mean, I, I mean, if you want to bring an energy company to its knees, you met the general well, public. If you want to bring, <laughs> it's so, but it's so simple to do, right? <laughs> Actually, all you're asking people to do is to do nothing and to do something slightly different. If you want to bring a com a company to its mm. absolute knees, if you want to break a company, extend that boycott out to three months. No company can deal with a quarter. Of, oh, of yeah. absolutely shite if performance. The, I mean, to be honest, like energy is probably one of the easier ones to do because you just go, "We're just not going to pay." Everybody just went, "I'm not going to pay the energy company." I'm just like, yeah, but, that's but all you know, if we get. start now, for example, they, they, they would, would they would go yeah, exactly. What the they would. Fringe? That's a quick win. And yeah. do you know what? Over time, it will send a message. We're not endorsing no, that, by no, the way. But... <laughs> the moment i know it's a... <laughs> no i'm just saying <laughs> before anyone kind of gets yeah, hang on, about well, well, yeah <laughs> shit maybe i shouldn't have said this but anyway i've said it now <laughs> yeah. 
the point the point i think the point mainly is that there there are there are ways that you can kind of make your voice heard um I think I spent half my time on like petitions.gov.uk. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming in today? Oh, I'm going to petition against the um what was the most recent one that was that came through that I was like absolutely but, not. Oh, there was a public inquiry into the damage of Brexit. But there it, was the one around uh teaching children about uh uh, transgender people or not teaching, they wanted to take it away. And I was like, absolutely not. That's like, that should be, that's part and parcel of what life is now. So, yes. But you know, it's, it, no, no, Sorry, no, Jerry, no, no. It's, it's just, it's, one. it's like the whole thing, like, th- we've got to move away from this whole culture of, you know, um, well, shit happens. And the reason why everything just carries on the way that it is and, and everyone, all these companies and everybody just keeps doing what they want to do and basically screwing the general public over is because there are no consequences. There are no consequences. Actually, I hate to say it, mm. but there are no consequences even of signing a petition. There are no consequences of gluing your hand to a railing and stopping traffic. There are no consequences, actually, um, to just, you know, week in, week out, being on question time and going, oh, and another thing, and just have a debate. No, you know, this is shocking. This is terrible. No one gives a shit. The energy company bosses don't even care. They watch all this Somebody that's earning mm. shit loads of money as a result of the greed is not going to listen to tune into question time and go, Oh yeah, you know what? They've got a point. It's got a <laughs> yeah, point. Need to change. Yeah, I need to change. You're a yeah, psychopath yeah. in the first yeah, place to do this. So so it's not exactly like you're gonna have any empathy. So you're not gonna give a shit if you're in that position, quite frankly. But I tell you where there is consequences is if you order placards to say not my king before you even get to the jubilee apparently you can get consequences oh then God, yeah. like they it's they so can true. get arrested very quickly but nobody else can like it, it's a fucked world it is i saw so i it's very, i said to somebody we were bad. having this conversation actually literally a few days ago i said um we can't seem to cure cancer. We can't seem to sort out potholes. We can't sort out this financial mess that we're in. We can't sort out <laughs> yeah. the cost of living crisis. We can't manage the economy. We can't manage Brexit. But we are fucking great at taking your money off you. So we will have the state-of-the-art systems to charge you if you're a minute over in a parking, in a car park, or if you go into <laughs> yeah. a fucking bus yeah. lane, or you go into a low-emission zone, and it's all automated. And it it's... It, before you know it, the letter's on your doorstep and you have to pay. Um, and there's a whole court system that sits behind that. And they will, they will take your house away from you if you don't pay your fine and repossess your car. Yeah. And fucking great at doing all of that stuff. And you go, uh, why are you so efficient at everything yeah. which where they take your money? And companies are like this now. And this is why I get so annoyed about call centers. Actually, Companies and corporations generally. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, it's all around taking your money. We'll sell you the product. We'll do everything in our power to make you buy a product. But if something goes wrong with it, you will never be oh, able to. You will one. never yeah. be able to contact us. You we will not help you. We will make your life hell trying to, to sort out whatever yeah. problem you got with your product. Two things, two things on that. One, I have to say, now TV... To cancel Now TV, perfect. You go online, click cancel. Yes, you have to go through two or three steps because they want you to stay and they'll give you some stupid discount at the end to make you stay. But you can cancel it easy. But any others, no. Oh, yeah, you can only cancel um, by phoning us. What? So I could buy online, <laughs> but I have, to, I have to cancel to phone you. You have like, to send us a check. Mm, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when I need to cancel my Netflix subscription when they re- remove the password sharing well, bit. Exactly. So. Like, and on the point of phone calls and call centers, British telecoms are getting rid of 10,000 staff to replace, which segues nicely <laughs> onto this next section. Oh, to a segue on, a, on like our podcast. It. To re- and this is a proper segue um, <laughs> to replace this 10 pound staff with a fucking eye. Do you know how frightening that is? Don't get me wrong. 
I like AI. I think it has some great things going for it. I think we're probably moving too fast with it. I think we need to get some kind of grounding on AI. But to replace people with AI, I think that's where I morally draw the line. It's the same with the um, uh, the writer's strike. Yes. Because, yeah, you don't need copyrights anymore. Yeah. Chat GPT. Because you can write a script, you can't you? AI to yeah. write scripts. I didn't know yeah. that. Mm. I mean, don't don't get me but, wrong. Like, I use AI in my work, in my work and in my personal life. For example, I'm writing a photography course at the moment. I wrote the script, put it into ChatGPT, and said, "Can you make this better and a bit more comprehensive?" It can do that perfectly, which is absolutely fine. I still have to read it to make sure that it actually makes sense and it's written in the right way. Um, and, it hasn't snuck in like. Thou shalt. Yeah, exactly. Or like that. But the the principles and the concepts of photography haven't changed for years. It's still the same way of capturing a photo. Like yeah, that hasn't. That's never changed. The thing that I don't like about it is that people are blindly assuming that the output is correct. Mm. Like ChatGPT, if you're using ChatGPT three, that is a year and a half old worth of data. That it is trained on. Chat GPT four is obviously more recent. Google Bard uses I think Google are on to something using the whole fucking network. Like crack on with that. That's up to date stuff. But yeah, people are blindly accepting what it's doing. Like people are getting code snippets from this fucking thing. That code could do anything. They wouldn't have a clue mm. and they'll just blindly copy and paste that. No. And and what's interesting about that, right? So AI in general, I I accept is going to probably come in, but the only reason AI works is because you've trained it on something to begin yeah. with. And that's why Google have got like a bit of a kind of, oh, look at this, because... They've got the data to do so. They're training it on years of human-generated content, right? That's how the AI builds and then becomes... it, And then, and then it, you know, it's that... And 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 that still has the same flaws that humans do, right? Everyone thinks the brain is a genius until you realise it named itself. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. That's got to be the quote of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that's, that's so that's true. true. Like it's it's it, you it. know it's we aren't we aren't a body. We are literally like we are electrons and neurons inside of our brain that just so happen to control this meat sack, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's a really brilliant image. <laughs> My point being, right, is that it's been trained. I'm going to try and bring it on top. Um, it's been trained on years of user data uh, generated content. Like if that content never existed, you couldn't generate an AI because it wouldn't have anything to, to learn from. Like it can't, AI at the moment cannot invent. So you've got to do that. And then you're right. Like you can't, you can't blindly assume that the code that mm. let's take coding for example is something both me and so both me and Hooper are um ex coders, I suppose. I still code every now and then, but not very I haven't often. Coded for years. So both you know chat GTP generates something and then I have the ability to read it and go, Do you know what that wouldn't work? Mm. <laughs> or there's a much better way of doing this. Um well, this could be optimized that. And the only reason then ChatGPT knows that this could be optimized is because I've probably gone in, oh, yeah, they could optimize it by doing this. And then for the next person, it will go on, hey, I can just recommend you the second solution that another human has recommended to me, right? You still need people to be able to understand and make sure things are, are doing that. And then, you know, if we take script writing, for example, um, I don't think that AI yet would have the ability to do comedy or horror and for two reasons is because they're entirely based upon timing that is human intuition mm. like it's not easy to be funny funny like to be properly funny i'm not funny funny i'm funny i accept that i've got some reasonable comedic talents but i'm not stand on stage jimmy carr type comedy mm. there is an intuition on that that really generates and don't get me wrong i have used chat gtpt and other 
like AI systems, but because that because of the way that my brain works. So my brain, for example, I'm not. If somebody gave me a blank piece of paper and went, "Go do a thing," I'd be like, "Fucking what? No, I haven't got any idea." Mm right but if somebody like gave me like here's a bare bones like website can you make it fancy can you like do xyz to it and i'm like absolutely right because i've got the i've got a starting point to go like the hardest bit for me was the first sentence of an essay as soon as i had that first sentence i'm gone right and i could just i could go and then like i go back in it i was a very good editor i'm a very good bug fixer when it comes to code so i've used chat dtpc like just generate me a basic template for something like this is what i roughly want it's generated and i've gone well half that code's like probably going to be throwaway but there's a website and i can tweak it and make it do this and and do that so i find it's a good kickstarter but this an, this whole like we need to rely on ai all the time it's an aid be, it's an yeah. aid for for us aid. to be able to do our work pretty much and it's so this is the way that i see that if if they do start replacing humans doing work it will get to a point where everything becomes unified the way it speaks the way it outputs, the way it creates will all be the same because it stopped learning because we're not creating anymore. And this is happening with, with photographers as well is, is where this data comes from is how have they obtained that data? Because photographers and some creatives are finding their work or snippets of their work inside things like some have found them in mid journey and things like that, where it outputs some kind of creative image and they're finding that work. And one of them, uh, I was, I was watching a, a YouTube on it. They use Shutterstock and they used to create, they used to gain quite a bit of money from, from uh, mm -hmm. stock photography and Shutterstock have their own AI in there now to create these images, but it's trained off the stock photography within the system. So this is people's yep. artwork and they're not getting paid the royalties that they deserve for their, for this AI to be trained upon it. And it goes, it goes back to what we were saying earlier, where they, where companies, they can um, spend loads of money on being able to get money from you, but not actually spend any to, to kind of help you out in any way. And this, these photographers were saying that, we're not getting the royalties for it. We can't opt out of it because they saying that that, that feature is coming soon to opt out of this. Mm. So they can build this thousands of dollars worth of technology for this AI, but they can't build a simple fucking checkbox to say no. And it's, it's just like greed. That's all it is. We've got this data. We're going to use it. We, we have the rights to use it. And it's difficult for them to pay it out. It's just, yeah. So it tells you everything you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. it? But on the flip side, it is great. It's fantastic. Well, so like some of the images that are coming out of Mid Journey are amazing. Like it's helping me to make my course better. It's. Because otherwise, I'd have to review it, retype it, try and find out. But ChatGPT just did that for me. Like, there are some great use cases. We're at the novel <laughs> stage of it all. So at the mm. risk of getting really cliche and cheesy about this, um, let's take this to the matrix. What happens in 50 years from now, 100 years from now? And by the way, dear friend of mine who still hasn't seen that film, you need to watch the film. I know. I know. Have you seen it, Hooper? She needs to watch the film. film? Oh, please, for the God's Matrix. sake, tell me you've seen it. I, the I Matrix? will literally cry. Yeah. 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 I haven't seen the newest one. No, I haven't seen the newest one either, Revelation. I've seen, Don't worry. I've seen the others. Don't worry you've about You've seen that. the original. Yeah, at least. yeah. yeah. You've yes. seen the OG. Fucking know what I was going to say. <laughs> I can breathe now. Um, so Have I redeemed myself? Yes. <laughs> Not quite. No, <laughs> sort of. You're you're redeeming it like so. I'm on uploading a two percent. Really? Yeah, because it's still uploading your other one. Don't panic, Jerry. It's fine. <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> um, so don't tell him your name, what, what, Pike. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, um, I'm panicking, Mister Manorin. I'm panicking. <laughs> but but at what point? 
because it can so easily happen. You know, when you're watching all of this stuff in 1999, which is when that film came out, yes, I mean, I, I don't know about you, I was thinking, oh, yes, I mean, really? Not going to happen in my lifetime. Mm. I mean, what, what, what role is AI? Honestly, at that time, I thought, what role is AI going to play in my life? There was no such thing as the Internet of Things, really. Mm. It was so, there were such pie-in-the-sky type concepts. Um, and, you know, didn't even have a smartphone, for God's sakes, back then. And then all of a sudden, in, in a relatively short period of time, it's like, whoa, okay, we've got chat GPT, and now we're laying off 10,000 people and replacing them with AI to provide what is essentially at its core, what's supposed to be a human service. Mm. Um, so roll on another 20 years. You know, at what point does it get to where you've got you've got an in artificial intelligence that's intelligent enough to go, these fucking meat sacks, <laughs> <laughs> they're absolute knobbins. They haven't got a clue. And it doesn't I mean, matter what and we then, do. Well, they're going to be Based on the conversation we had ahead. before this. Before we had the AI conversation, we did just say quite a lot of the people are greedy and stuff like that. So you can understand why, you know, it's almost right. like it's going to be put that to thing, bad use. I call it yeah. vil villain sympathizing, you know, Thanos. You kind of go, eh, it's not entirely wrong, you know, <laughs> at times it's like. But you, you've got to remember, AI has been around for years. Like nice. it's, it's, it's been there for years. The, the difference now is that it is consumable by anybody mm. yes. anybody can use ai because of the tools that are being created for it and i think when chat gpt kicked off people were like shit i need to get on top of this like i need to be part of this wave otherwise i'm going to be left behind and then all these other tools have come out and companies have gone shit we need to we need to do mm. this as well um because like Cause you don't it? knock up Google doesn't knock up Bard in like three weeks after ChatGTP no. went popular. They've been working on it for donkey's years. Exactly, exactly. Um, but like I said, there are some great use cases. Like, for example, video editing. Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve Studio now have text-based editing. So analyze your video, take the text out of it. You can literally just highlight the text. It will show you where it is in the, um, in the timeline. And if you just delete the text, it will delete that snippet out of the timeline. And then that's that video edited for you. And, well, you and not that only that, text. there's yeah, there you now get, and I looked because I read it because it's specific for podcasting. So when myself and Jerry do a podcast in person, we're likely going to have like, you know, two cameras on us yeah. or, or several angles. And um, what the, the AI has the ability to do is recognize who is talking and whether it's a conversation or whether Sink someone it. specifically and and go right, we're going to use that camera, then that camera, yeah. then wide angle, then that camera, then that camera, and almost have like a you know properly edited thing. And I could do this for this podcast. I don't. I just basically stick myself and Jerry and the guests face up, and we do that. But I could absolutely sit there and go through and go. Actually, Hooper had a rant here, so I'm just going to blow up his screen for the hot, for the next like thirty seconds. Yeah. But there's AI that has the intelligence to do that now interestingly in a, in 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 a world where i you know myself and hooper especially have grown up in a youtube world where uh, like i w like i wish i jumped on the youtube bandwagon 15 20 years ago and started making videos mm. then because i would probably have loads and loads of subscribers because there was no competition nowadays all it takes is for somebody to you know put something together be a slightly creative but if you've got you've got to be really creative to stand out um and you know, that one viral video that's all yeah. you need yeah, yeah yeah and i got excited when one of our videos got like 1200 views because yeah it was it was i was like whoa well, maybe this will bring some stuff in and it it did a little bit but you know and as i said views is not the thing that we we work towards but it's nice that we can get message out to people and get an engagement and things like that because that's what mm -hmm. you truly want so it's a kind of a real there's loads of ways that ai is really good and really bad i think it's that consumerism and that and as we've put it, that forced AI, that forced yeah. down your throat. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Um, I'd also say just be careful on that on that BT article that you saw about ten thousand. If you actually read it, yeah. um, uh, it's a hundred jobs have been replaced by AI. Um, BT just happened to be the way they the way that the BT announced it. Well, the media went ah, ten thousand jobs have been lost to AI. Well, no, actually less than a hundred are. 
BT are just doing 10,000 people are being laid off from BT. So uh, there is the interesting bit uh, you do need to read into it. Yeah. Um, Maybe that newspaper article is written by chat GPT. <laughs> it's written by Tom. Look at me, I'm taking over the world. Uh, yeah, somebody yeah. went, oh, BT, write me an article. <laughs> write yeah. me an article on AI. <laughs> well, yeah. That'd be ironic. Yeah. Like, you got That'd your facts AI. wrong. AI? Right. Right, we've been going for a very long time. Unfortunately, I've lost my timer. Hooper, you've probably got the only realistic timer. Well, it will cost you. It will cost me. Um, oh, <laughs> hang on, Swift. Whoa, whoa, hang on. This is power. If I said the word that I'm not allowed to say, you don't know the timestamp. Uh, I will, whatever time oh, I stop no. the recording, I will minus the five. I will minus that time. <laughs> oh, the time no. Stamp, so I know it's at the end. <laughs> so nice try. <laughs> Damn. But also, I also listen to the podcasts all the way through to make sure <laughs> there's nothing that I think, oh, I want to take that out. <laughs> Fair. So, no, okay, I won't say it. As fun <laughs> as that would be, I yeah. won't say it. Uh, two hours, 54 and 55 seconds. Look at that. Can, yeah. So This is our longest podcast, isn't this it? This is one of our longest podcasts, and we aren't done yet, because, Jerry, what is your final thoughts? My... <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's it's funny actually. I I've I haven't forgotten this time. Oh, kind of yeah. But I kind of feel that we've we've done a really good section of final thoughts because I managed to get stuff off my chest around you know the whole thing around greed and and we talked about we've talked about topical things which you know that's great. So that's kind of quenched my thirst of final thoughts. So my final thought is. Um, the only thing that's going through my mind right now is would Hoops be up for just showing us his lightsaber again just one more time <laughs> is that a euphemism <laughs> <laughs> maybe it might be that also lights up <laughs> <laughs> that's supposed to be between you and Kirsty. <laughs> Can I hold your lightsaber <laughs> right, and play with it? Let me get. I've got a, a little Grogu oh, up there as that. well. That's oh, a Macy's special. Well. Yeah, yeah, but that's a, that's all the way from New York. That's, that's Ooh, special. We'll get you right. Are we ready? Yes. Should we do? Should we? Should we do this like a countdown? Like you know, <laughs> like when they do like the lights at Christmas. Yeah, five. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> three. Go. three. Two. Two. One. One. Oh, we got a technical fault. Hold on. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lighting effect that it gives you is pretty yeah, cool. Look no, at I'm that. Feel like a proper like streamer. Like, you when, do a bit with neon lights. Have you sliced yeah. tiger bread with it or? Cheese or anything? <laughs> no, not yet. Giraffe bread. No. Okay, <laughs> giraffe bread. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Hooper, what's your final thoughts? My final thoughts is um, it's better to sit on the toilet than it is to hover in aim. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> this. This has been the most random podcast I have ever done. <laughs> Hooper, you are, by the way, Hooper, you're more than welcome to come on as a guest again. Um, we will definitely have you back on. Um, have you, have you got a next... guest next month? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think we we've do, got guests yeah. from now until the end of the year. Can I gate crash next month? Can you just like send me a link like halfway through your podcast and just come on? And like, hey, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> we have to test it. We have to test it. <laughs> oh, oh it's got whoa. better did it turn it off whoa. itself did you turn yeah. that off no it turns off itself if it's on for too long without like waving it around or um, pressing the button or anything it turns itself off I suppose that's a safety feature <sighs> otherwise I think that's probably one of the reasons the why I'm single if you don't do it <laughs> it turns off itself and you don't waggle it around <laughs> <laughs> and that's Dom's final thought that's my that's, final yeah. thought because I was going to ask what your final thought is uh, no, I, you know me. I, that I don't, was don't it. really have much. Of the, well, I, I, yeah, that will that'll do. Um, thank you very much for watching, for listening, folks. Uh, 
this is going to be one of the longest and one of the hardest to edit because I've got like six timestamps to complete <laughs> shit out during You're it. Welcome. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Hooper, for coming on again. We really appreciate hey, it. Yeah, pleasure. thank you. If you if you want to catch Hooper on anything, uh, ninety two plates on Instagram and YouTube, uh, and he will eventually have a course out uh, for photography. So yeah. uh, check out that one. Um, nice. And there's lots of lots of pizza on loving on that instagram account which yeah. i very much appreciate there's more to come especially with the new pizza oven um i'm probably going to try and make like twenty thousand reels and tag you and all of them oh, do it. i'll share them <laughs> share them ever share them all um, jerry thank you as always pleasure uh, as always thank you very much to our listeners and watchers have uh, a great rest of your month and we'll catch you on the next one whoa 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 You've missed something. You've missed something. What have I missed? Like, subscribe. Subscribe. Share. (laughs) Yeah. Oh. (laughs) Five star review on Spotify. If the first person, if we get a five star review and someone actually writes a review on Spotify, I will read it out on the podcast. What more could you want? What more do you want? What more do you want? Thank you very much, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.